Oh, you know what? All right, we should be live. Let me refresh my YouTube screen so I can see. Hey, everybody, I noticed we've got, it says six people watching. I see Kathleen made it in first and Cheyenne, Jude. Let's see who else. We got Jenny, Lena. Hello, Bobby. Welcome to my channel. Is that Bobby Pizzelli? Yeah. Hey, Bobby. New channel, I believe. Perla. And also, I think Devin was here too, right? I thought I saw her a while ago. Hold on. Is that Bobby Pizzelli? Yeah. yeah in your video. <laughs> I'm trying to mute it. I'm trying to mute my YouTube and it won't, it won't do. There. There. I'm muted now. Sorry. There's uh keeping it real with the Millers. I never can remember hey, Monica. Monica. I wanted to say Sonia, and then I thought, no, that's not right. Hey, uh, hey Rebecca. Rebecca. Patty. If y'all can Paws. hit that thumbs up for me. Uh Patty Paws is from over at Devon's. Mm -hmm. I've seen her at Devon's. So. Mm -hmm. so hey everybody, Perla. Rebecca and Lena, there's Dwayne. Uh, we are going to have two giveaways a piece today during, you know, we'll space them out throughout the show. Jenny. We do have Heather in the background too. She'll be popping in at the end. She's got a few things to show y'all and see if y'all are interested in. Cheyenne is here and Devin. So, hey guys, we're glad you're here. And yes, I have an abnormal growth today. <laughs> It was easier just to stick him in the shirt than it was to fight with him. So, All right. Well, I've got, like I said, everything's going to be mainly um, jewelry making or crafting with jewelry pieces, beads, gemstone beads. Um, but I did have, have a few little, I guess I'd call it stationary items, things that you can uh, paper, like a die, some die cut paper and then like some sticky note pads and stuff that are cute. So I'll have those and I'm doing a dollar off and two dollars off today on your on your um order. So that'll be my giveaways. <clears throat> do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead do. and put you on first, let you go first. Okay. And then I'll step and get me something to drink real fast. My throat's dry. Hey Jennifer. Hey Michelle. Hey Michelle. Glad to know that I didn't have a breast augmentation. <laughs> no, uh, if I do, I'm not having a lumpy one. <laughs> so. Okay. So guys, I have, oh, I wanted to show y'all this necklace. Okay. Let me get it pulled off. I'm going to have to put him down. Okay. Uh, so I have this necklace. I made this necklace. It will be one of my giveaways. And I just wanted to show you. You can fasten earrings, take clip-on earrings, and put them, like, right above it. And what this was was part of a bracelet. Uh, anyway, and so this will be a giveaway, and I will have a couple of earrings on it. But I have crafting bags. Puppy, I cannot work with you in here. I am sorry. I cannot. Come on, baby. Let's go. Tutor Poots, let's go go find your daddy. Go find your daddy. <laughs> Lay on his boobs. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Carmen. Okay. Anyway, so I have these sandwich size crafting bags. And like this one here has one of those bracelet pieces in it. There are pieces that are off of a bracelet. And I just took mine and laid it down and gently hammered it until it flattened out and then uh, attached it anyway so i have nine of these bags they are all bits and baubles of jewelry pieces and um this is my ideal um i would like to sell these bags for six dollars a bag and i have nine and the first nine people that say they want one will get one okay we're going to do it like that instead of trying to auction them because they're all the same. I have nine of them. 
they all weigh about a pound and a half so um they'll have to come added flat rate anyway but uh um i have nine nine of these so you've got bits and bubbles there's lots of beads there is lots of jewelry parts parts of pieces like um um what am i trying to say pendants parts of earrings there might be earring earrings there might be all kinds and there are nine of these and they all weigh over a pound so i'm not seeing anybody say if they want any of these so i haven't seen any yet but i've just put in there you know yeah, one they're going to be six dollars each so it's they actually weigh like a pound between a pound and a pound and a half so but the first nine people that says they want one will get one and uh, as you say i'll write your name on them but you've got all kinds of things you've got pieces of chain okay jennifer yeah. layton wants one let me there's my marker jen layton six dollars jen layton wow cindy can you write jen okay i got jen for one anybody else want one we got barbie wants one barbie wants one barbie six dollars uh anybody else want one I mean, I have nine of them total. <laughs> I bought over about 25 pounds of bits and baubles, and then I separated it into bags. Hey, Barbie. So, hey, Mike. Did I see? No, I didn't see MSP. What is in them? All kinds of bits and baubles from jewelry. You've got beads. You've got pendants. You've got uh fasteners there's findings in there there's bits of chain there's bits of uh pen yeah there's pendants there might be bits of shell all kinds of things mm. rebecca's asking kinds. about glass beads no glass beads in this i do i do have a bag that is just glass beads that i'm going to auction off but there's no glass beads in that unless i missed them i was not going real close on the glass beads but there is a bag that has glass beads but there might be some glass beads in it i know like that one there looks like a glass bead a big glass bead so yeah so that you're just going to have to be taking a chance on that um uh, there will be later there will be a bag that ha that is all rhinestone stuff but there will be rhinestone things in these too so anyway i've got nine of, i've got seven left so anybody want one i've got to find what i did with the glass bead one uh there's my glass bead one and that's my yep you got 20 watching thanks guys and hit that on button. Button. okay i still have seven left anybody want one of these if not then we'll pass on them and uh i'll uh offer these uh this bag of glass beads and and auction them and i'll auction the rhinestones too mm. let me get this picked up though to get it out of the way because it is heavy oh, i knocked it all over there we go okay so we passed on that i have two put back for barbie and jen Barbie and Jean, if you want more than one, you can have more than one since nobody else asked for them. So, okay, this bag right here, let me tell you how much it weighs. This is just a sandwich bag. Oh, yeah, Dwayne said Heather wants one, but I'm not sure if he's just playing or if he's serious. <laughs> Dwayne, do you want her to put one down for Heather? Okay, I I, I told what I told what uh 
was in it a while ago to Kathleen. I told what was in it. So this weighs a pound. So, yeah, he's serious. Heather wants one. Okay. He's serious. Let me pick this up because I knocked it over. See, you have to cause us so much confusion because we don't ever know <laughs> when you're being serious. <laughs> okay. Here's one for Heather. Heather's like I do. <laughs> you, might well, you might as well take one. I'm sure we'll find some crafts to like do. Your creative juices, okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so this bag here weighs a pound, and it is a bag that everything in it has rhinestones. Um, like this is a broken bracelet. And it has, but it has rhinestones in it. And we're going to start the bidding on this rhinestone bag. Like here are rhinestones. Here are rhinestones. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah. But it's missing a bunch of rhinestones. Uh, there are rhinestones or stones in that. This rhinestones. Anyway, so we have this rhinestone bag. And we're going to start this rhinestone bag at five dollars and we're going to bid on it okay we're going to bid on five five dollars kathleen did you want a bag after i said what was in it did you decide if you wanted one yeah start five dollars on this i've got what are we? we got jennifer at five She said, no, thank you. Okay. You need to buy something from me today, Kathleen, because I still have a, uh, um, I still have a, uh, um, your Sculpey that you bought too. Cheyenne's asking, is there any yarn, material, or paper items today? I do have paper items, and I also have a bunch of fabric things. I have a bunch of fabric panels that are really, really cute. Disney panels, Yoda, um, scripture panels. And I can go get some yarn, because um, I had it last time, and no one wanted it, and I still have a bunch of it. So let's go once at five dollars. I don't see anybody else bidding with her. Going twice, three times. So to the lady. Thanks, Jen. It's yours for. Five dollars rhinestone bag. She said, Well, you know me, so what you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this bag right here, and I'm going to tell you how much it weighs. It weighs nearly six ounces, and this is full of all glass beads. Okay, all glass beads. You do have some little, one little strand of the pink seed beads, but all the rest of them are nice size beads, okay? They're not little bitties. There's one strand of the seed. Well, there's a couple of small strands of seed beads, but most of them are large size, larger size beads. And uh, we're going to start this at $3. Start at $3 on glass beads only. These are glass. I'll take some of them out and show you. So we have this beautiful purple one that is like um, kind of an oblong shape. We have some really pretty mirrored ones that are flat like that. There are several of that purple and several of those mirrored. We have this one. It is glass. It looks like a rutilated quartz, but it's not. 
have some really pretty uh, blue. <clears throat> Jennifer three. Got Jen in at three. There are some AB coated glass ones that are small like this. We have some that look like wood that are glass. Hmm. Cool. Uh, there are some more small black jet jet colored ones. Jude's at then, four. Then we have these that are pink, almost disc, and uh, they may be a dyed shell, but uh, uh, they're attached to this piece that has the little glass beads on mm -hmm. them. So Jude's out, and we've got Jude at four. Anyone else want to go higher than four? Look at this one. Mm. It has an AB coating on it. It's really pretty. They make a beautiful pendant. It's glass. Yeah, there are bunches of little glass beads in here. This one is uh, is <laughs> a glass um, round bead. So mm -hmm. those remind you of candy necklaces. Yeah, I, I remember candy necklaces. So, oh. Yep. And uh, I'm throwing this in this one. Mm -hmm. It is a real pearl. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. been laying on my shelf on my keyboard for a long time. Anyway, there's quite a few beads in there. A lot, you know, it weighs nearly six ounces. So we can start counting if nobody else is bidding besides Jude and Jen. This, okay. this green one right here is beautiful. Beautiful. See, look at that. Ain't that pretty? It's glass. Now, these bags back here, they have some glass beads in them. But uh, uh, I just got tired of separating. I'm just, uh, I, I'd worked on between 21 and 25 pounds in, on two days and I got tired. So I know there's glass mm -hmm. beads in them, but I just got tired. Okay, Miss Jude bought the glass beads. Mm -hmm. Sell to Jude. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jude. There we go. Okay. That's nice. She said she puts some on the binding of her homemade photo albums. If y'all cool. haven't checked out Jude's channel, she'll show you how she makes those. Okay, this will be my last item before I start in on fabric and notebooks. So this is a little crafty bag and it's really, there's, you have a size 10 crochet hook, vintage, it was only 35 cents, Marsha Lynn crochet hook, size 10. You have a package of darning needles and I don't even know that they're all in there. It looks like one's missing and you have a stitch holder, a stitch holder, and you have a yarn puller, like for latch hook. Yeah, you are going a little bit blurry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did it straighten up? Not yet, it hadn't. Okay. How about you switch over to you, and while you've done that, I will switch to my mobile hotspot and then okay. come back in the in the auction, okay? Okay, sounds good. And I'll offer this in a minute. So. Okay. All right, guys. So I mainly, like I said, I mainly have um, jewelry bags similar to what she had, but I have some huge ones. And then I have some other odd end stuff and a couple of paper things. And I do have some tumbled stones too. So I think I'm going to start with the tumbled stones. I have this bag here that has a lot of tumbled stones in it. And I know I noticed that my light's going crazy and stuff. It's going to make it difficult. But I do have a bag of tumbled stones here. I can show you some of them. I'm going to start these at $5. Thank you, Barbie. I'm going to start these at 5 and then I'm going to start adding to them as you're bidding because I have another bag over here. And some of these are even bigger that I can just add to it. So let me show you some of what's in this bag. 
this is just one of those arrowheads where they've carved it out of some kind of clay or stone here. It's just like a brownish color. Oh, I'm going to fight with this light already, I can tell. There we go. You can see that better. Little carved um, arrowhead there. We've got, I, and I'm not going to know all of these stones. I know these are some my brother brought back from Florida on a little panning for gemstone type thing that he did. And then these other ones, I, I tumbled my, myself from some that I got in the mountains. This, I think, is just a dyed quartz stone that's tumbled there. I have, this is a rose quartz. It's got like a light pink hue, but it's pretty crystal clear looking. Have a piece of, thinking this is citrine. Uh, this is that fool's gold there. A chunk of that. Thank you, Jenny. This is what my hair looks like now that I've cut it short and I can't really, I can barely get a little ball in the back. <laughs> Another type of quartz stone there. You've got, this looks like it's some kind of, well, it almost has some banding in it, but I'm not going to guess at everyone because I don't know everyone. There's a piece of tiger's eye there. A cute little shape. You can see the banding and stuff around it there. Yeah, pyrite. There you go, Dwayne. Got some, I think this is maybe carnelian. Chip of carnelian there. Another carnelian here. You're back. Okay. I'll add you back in here. And then I'm going to have to present myself again. There we go. Okay, so we got Cindy back. Okay, we have this stone here. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it has some bluish in it. It may be a sodalite. I think this might be sodalite right here on this one. Pretty dark blue. You've got a chip of... Some type of quartz here. Kind of has a greenish hue to it. Got some amethyst here that's really light colored amethyst. Looks like we have Jude at five. We have some pink rose quartz there. This one has that crackling, and I think that's a dyed quartz. So they've dyed it purple, but it has that crackling effect in it. I think this is another nice chunk of soda light right here. Got Cheyenne at six. This is a type of agate. When you hold it up to the light, you can see some reds and stuff. It's real pretty going through it. Let's see if I can turn this lamp on. I might be able to show you what it looks like under the light. There's that one. I don't want that to wash me out. Another piece of quartz there, like a nice little square there. I did. I need to go run up there and get my cabochons too, because I told a couple of people that I would show some cabochons. So I'll get those when we get back to you. Another piece of carnelian there. And there's still a good bit more here. That I have Welcome to back, Lena. We get so to we the or add in some more stones. Carnelian there. We've got gold stone. There's a pretty gold stone piece right there. Let's see if I can get the. Can y'all even see the reflection in that of the sparkle? Let's see if y'all can see the sparkles. Anyway, that is a piece of gold stone there. Two, two, seven. Carnelian. 
some more pyrite, a couple more pieces of that in there. Yeah, they're asking for pentacons. Yeah. Cheyenne's in at eight. I'll run up there and pull those out. I've got them in a little thing. Here's some uh, moss agate chip there. Now, none of these are drilled. Remember, these are just tumbled stones. So these would have to be like wire wrapped. This one has some blue and some brown on that one. I don't know what that is. There's just Jamie. We have Judy in at nine. Cheyenne's back at ten. Okay, so we're at ten. Now there's still these, but I can add in. I can add in this large amethyst. This is one of the ones I tumbled. So these don't have that high polish to them. Hey, I'm working on that process. Will you hand me my orange here? pot? Oops, sorry guys. Let me mute, mute me. I don't know that one's in there. I don't know what that one is. This one has like a deep greenish color to it. This one has some pinks and grays and stuff in there. These these little ones in the bottom, it'll be fun to just look at them and, and see what they are. More rose quartz I see. Looks like, I'm not sure that's translucent in some parts and not in others. And it has banding, so maybe that's an agate of some sort. This looks like rhodochrosite. It's got the pink and the black there. So we're still at 10. I can add in, let's see, another one I got over here. I'm keeping that one. That one's my bag of the rats. No, I won't keep that one out of those that I tumbled. I just found. What did I say? I thought this was like Laramar. It's got the white and that pretty aqua blue in it. Got that one. I'm going to add that one to it. Here's a pretty um, piece of rose quartz that can go in there and be wrapped. <clears throat> Some jasper right here. That's real pretty. I'm going to have some cool looking pieces of moss agate in here, too. Here's a citrine right there. That's a pretty citrine. I'll add that one in there. This one came out kind of fun. I don't know. almost looks like a mermaid tail, but it's a piece of um, the tiger's eye. But the shape of it was fun. I'll throw that one in there too. I don't know what this is, is either. It's got these purple, purple places in it and then some grays that have kind of a metallic sheen. I'm not sure. It's a really pretty stone. Not sure what that one's called. Here's a piece of um, smoky quartz right here. Put that one in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that moss agate. I like that moss agate. Here's some more of the uh, the blue that has the the gray and stuff in it. Again, I don't remember all the names of the stones. I do have that one. Here's another pretty piece of rose quartz right here. I'll put that one in there too. I'm talking up a storm and I have myself oh. muted. I said that blue with the gray is real pretty. Yeah, it is. I love that color. And I've got other pieces of it that I've got to get tumbled, but I don't remember what it is. So if anybody in the chat knows what it's called. You have Cheyenne at 12 now. So. This, oh yeah, 
this is an incredible piece of moss agate right here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one to the side. This one is cool too. I swapped it out. I was gonna keep this one, but I forgot about that one because I want to wire wrap it. This one has like when you hold it up to the light, you got some white and you've got the green that looks like moss going through it. I'm gonna put that one in there too. I like that one. Jude's asking if you can hold the bag up now so they can see how much is in the bag now. Okay. Yeah, let me put put it all back down in there. And I'll show you. This is like a quart size bag to give you a reference. And so we've got it filled up this much so far. Getting all these tumbled stones. A lot of them are a great size to be wrap some of them would be you know bigger that you could just display or do whatever carve or whatever your craft is do the in at 13. okay diane jump to 15. okay so I'll go ahead and I'll throw in this this piece of of um, train. We get to twenty. I'll add some more stones. I've got this piece that I can add. I don't know what it's called, but it's real pretty. It's got yellows and purples and all <laughs> kind of stuff in it, and I don't know what it's called. I've got Is a piece. It purples or black. There are some black veins, but then there's purple veining. This is purple. And then there's some black through there too. And then there's these um, this orangish brownish color that's almost kind of yellow because it looks yellow over here that's in there. And this was more like before it got, you know, polished and tumbled, it was more like the texture of it was, I don't know how to describe it, like a, almost like a clay but it, it's not a clay it's a heavier it's heavier than that but it is really pretty because of all the colors and patterns that are in it but i'll be able to add that one and then i can add this one that has these different color striations in it too i don't know if this is a type of jasper or what maybe a picture jasper or something like that I'm sanding my tumbled stones by hand with high grit wet sanding paper to get the shine. I've heard that um, you can use like stuff like borax in the tumbler and stuff too. But that's another thing. I can also add in at 20, I can add in this moss agate here. If you see the light comes through it in certain parts of it. You'll be able to see these a whole lot nicer when you get them. I promise they look more interesting in person but you can see the light coming through it there on that spot <laughs> if you don't know it's agate or jasper that's a safe guess Dwayne right I see that one that you were saying had the purple in it I wondered if it was bumblebee jasper so. does that usually have purple in it no not that I know of I thought it was just yellow and black Another piece That's why I was there. asking, is it really purple? I love those little blue stones. What, yeah, did, you decide those were? what, did, you, what did you decide those were? I was thinking that they're maybe they're Laramar, but I'm not sure. Jude is at 16. Some of the people in the chat that know about stones, maybe they can make a guess for us too and help us out. Got some more citrine that I can add and stuff. So if y'all get to 20, I can add all these right here to it as well. There's one, two, three, four, five other stones that I can add in there. What she's showing right now, Cheyenne, is, is what she's going to add to the bag. Yeah, if you get to 20, or at 16, if you get to 20, I'll add those five other stones right there. I'll throw in another piece of amethyst. That's a nice dark piece of amethyst right there. So that'll be six other stones at 20. 
We have Jude at 16, guys. Jude's at 16. Is everybody else out? Oh, we got Cheyenne. Uh, Cheyenne's at 18. Okay, we're at 20, so those are going in the bag, too. Jude's at 20. Do we want to keep going? Do we want to add some more? I still have these that I can add in there. Do you want me to just go ahead and add all these in? And then y'all just can go at it. I can show you and start adding them in. If y'all want to go, go more. Cheyenne's at 21. Okay. So okay. I'm going to throw in another big chunk of amethyst. Jeannie's just watching. This is smoky quartz, but as it tumbled, it crackled. So it has this crackle looking effect to it, but it is smoky quartz. That's going in there. This is a piece of jasper. It's going in there. Here's another real pretty one. It's got like these bands like that. It's real pretty. That's going in there. Let's see. Yeah. That's a big, I'm going to put that one over there. That's a big smoke quartz. Make another piece of rose quartz. This one has, I don't know if y'all can see that either. It has like a sparkle sheen, but it's also got like striations through it. And it's got a light blue. I think this may be um, aquamarine. Here's a very light piece of smoky quartz. Hey, April, I just sent you a message. Okay. On Facebook or? No, on the private chat here. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're out. So we're just going to stop with what I've added because we're not going any higher. Let's see. Okay. All righty. All right, so we're at this right here for 21 for Cheyenne. And if we're not going any higher, then we're going to start calling it for Cheyenne. Because I think Jude is out. Yep. Add the rest for four more dollars. Ooh. Um, I'd have to go a little higher than four more dollars. To do the rest of those. Because those bags are almost even now. Yeah, this one's got less in it because these have the bigger stones in it than this one does. If you want to do thirty, yeah. I'll add, if you want to do thirty, I'll add the rest of those in because there's lots more citrine, a lot of uh, the um, moss agate quartz. There's a real cool piece of. Uh, banded agate there that has those bands across that the side of it. I don't even know what this is called, but it has a real cool metallic sheen to it. Do you want to do 30 and me throw the rest in, or we want to just call it at 21, Cheyenne? Hi, Anna. All right, you got it. I'll throw those on in. Those are all in there. Almost a half a quart size bag of tumbled stones. And I don't want to try to get down here. What a bargain. You write your name down. Thank you so much, Cheyenne. I've got to get some more. I got some blue gold stone in there that I've got to. Uh, tumble too so in about a month i'll have some of that all right so my next bag is i have some of these gallon size bags of jewelry bits i'm just gonna let y'all bid on them i'll start them at five dollars and y'all can bid on them oh because basically if i can't sell them today they're just gonna go in the trash can because <laughs> they're taking up space
start at the bottom. Oh, if y'all want to see some of what's in here, I can give you a little peek of some of the stuff. There's going to be acrylic beads like this, beads like that. It's mostly, you know, like I said, I don't do a whole lot with the uh, plastic or acrylic beads. There's some little bobbly necklaces like that. Here's a cool little Santa guy, but he's uh, missing a foot. He's in there. He, I guess he was like a little ornament. Uh, these little earrings in there. Um, these are light up um, shamrock yeah. earrings. I don't know if they still light up or not. Those are cool. I love the shamrock earrings. Vintage pearls that doesn't have a clasp. Single earrings, loose beads at the bottom. There could be some glass beads in here. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Is anyone interested in these? Because I have a whole bunch of bags this size. Nobody? I see a rhinestone heart. That's cute. Give it just a second and we'll find out what I have over here. All right. Can I can you see it? Sure you can, Rebecca. Sure you can. Oh my gosh. This one's a lot heavier, it has a lot more metal components than this one. I'll show you some of the stuff that's in this one. But you got like these parts. There's a brooch that apparently had some, I guess, metal loss on it. Um, little parts like this that can be used for things. Earrings. These are Trafari, but I guess it was a single earring. I don't know. There's these little things. These are cool. And some jewelry I bought from a lady one time. She had a bunch of these little things. I think they come from like India or somewhere. They got the little bells on them. Mary Pelletier is saying $5 on this one. Okay. There's a bunch of safety pins and seed beads on this because, you know, somebody made a bracelet out of it. Uh-oh, here come the dogs because it's starting to rain outside. Another single earring in there. Again, lots of loose beads and stuff at the bottom. Seed beads. All kinds of beads. There's little charms. I see a little charm down in here somewhere that's got like a little flower shape. Probably enameled on the other side. But it's flipped around. There's some leather strap stuff in here. Rebecca's asking, can I get that one? Mary already bid $5, so you can bid on it if you want. Yeah, we're at $5 on this one, Rebecca, if you want to bid on it. And then I have three more over here that I haven't showed. So if, if Mary wants this one for $5 and you're not interested and you want to pass and see another one, we can see another one. But if you want, you can bid on this one as well. That's loud, babe. You hear you in the back, Tyrone. You're loud. You're jingling stuff. Now there's a leather um, Hawaiian. Leather, see the next one. Okay, so we're going to sell this one. We're going to sell this one to Mary. All right. Get that closed back up. This one's pretty darn full. Mary P. Five dollars. Okay, thank you, Mary. All right, here's another one. This one has a lot of metal components in it as well. Um, 
some wooden beads, some vintage faux pearls, some weird feathers. She got like little discs like there's a like a brass disc there. Um little components like that in there. We've got some earrings with beads on there like that. There's gonna be like a lot of earring hooks and bags and different things like that too that you can salvage out of these bags. At some point I gave up on these bags of going completely through them so I, I couldn't even tell you what all's in here here's another like when i with the bells and stuff that i got a lot of these things came in there too you see that's what they say on the back they say made in india and it's got some kind of stone or something in in there i don't know what that is but this was an earring hey darling there's some shells in some of these some seeds some chain like that vintage chain are you interested in this one Rebecca we got Jennifer at six well, big wooden button like that this is wood It's so hard. They're so tangled. It's hard for me to pull a lot of that stuff out. I wouldn't say this one would be the best. I wouldn't say this one would be the best for beads. This one would be better for the metal components that are in here. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Hey, birth month, girl. <laughs> Stuff from India is unique. Yeah, it is because it's made by hand. Mary Pelletier is in it. Six fifty in this bag. Mm. So this one would be your best bet for some metal parts right here. I do have this one smaller bag here. This one's going to be good for beads. Rebecca, what are you looking for mainly out of your crafting stuff? That way I can help you figure out which bag would be best for you. All right, so it looks like we're sold to Mary on this one. Okay. Mary. Six fifty. Thank you, Mary. Again, there this is a bunch of beads. There are some single earrings in here. Um, I see some wooden beads, a lot of acrylic beads, seed beads. You don't know whatever ends up looking good. <laughs> okay, well, if somebody wants this one, you can buy this one now for three dollars. This is a, a mainly a bead bag, and there's a Hawaiian bracelet in there that's brand new, never been worn. Bead bag. Yes, there are going to be in a, a mixture of those kind of things in, in those large bags. There will definitely be things that you can harvest rhinestones out of. $3 on this one. We're going to pass it. Okay, I'm going to set that one to the side. Let's see if I see anything particular. This one has something you can harvest rhinestones out of. A lot of seed beads, metal components, another one of those. There's another other earring, I guess. Or is this the same bag I had? No, we sold that bag. So here's a here's the other earring, like that earring. But there were quite a few pairs. I see some Christmas charms right in there. There's a Santa and a Christmas tree. Um, I see some hearts down in there. Yummy. That sounds good. French onion soup. Mary for five. Mary for five on this one. Okay. If there's no other interest, we're going to sell it to Mary for five. It's pretty heavy, too. This tires my arm out. 
We're going to have to put you in a box with all these big bags. All right. Mary for five. Thank you, Mary. And here's the last one. This one has more interestingly, like, weird stuff in it. Like, there's a lobster in here. A plastic lobster. A plastic crab. Um, what if he's in wonders? Yeah. You've got a leather bracelet that looks like it's got the Jamaican colors on it. So it's probably from, like, the island somewhere. Like, there's some things in here that you could... Maybe even possibly wear. Here's a little clip on that has a moon, uh, not a moonstone, a uh, cat's eye stone in there. Here's a diamond ring that's not a real diamond, but you know, make it look like that. Might be fun to craft with if you're doing something. Hey, Mara. Like you got a little puppy. Puppy. I forgot what those kinds are called. It makes me think of the slush puppy guy, you know, from the slush puppies. They used to have there's a pretty earring there flower with a rhinestone mary's in at five on this one um, there's a rhinestone with flower shape here you go i don't know if both of them are still in there but i know if both of them existed at some point it's a hair barrette devil horn so you would clip this in your hair like little devil horns like that that's what that one is. <laughs> Rebecca's um, 550, Mary's at six. There is a little St. Patrick's Day little guy in here. What do I want to do with him? Hair barrettes. It's a little girl. There she is. In love with her. Sleep she, somewhere she, in the she, in my church. Wondering back in and bothering me. It's like a cross stitch snowflake earring. Somebody made earrings. Got some door knocker style. Little things like that. Hey, buying space. Just what you need. <laughs> I think she was talking about the devil horn. Oh, okay. Yeah. She came in right back there. These are wooden, very 80s style earrings. That's crazy, huh? Okay, so it looks like nobody but Mary has bid, unless Rebecca wants to go higher. Rebecca, do you want to bid on this one? Again, there is a Disney Expo pin from 2009, still in the plastic. It's got Ariel on the front. I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's from an expo for Disney. I don't know if it's something that you could list on eBay or not. I never tried. Okay, let Mary have it. All right, so we're going to say sold to Mary for six. Thank you, Mary. And I'm going to do this back here, and then we're going to swap back over. Okay. This one is all acrylic beads in here. You can buy this now for, for uh, $3. dollars it has got really cool, pretty looking. Like there's a strand right here that are iridescent purple that would make really cool like bubbles if you were doing something with bubbles like for a mermaid or underwater you got this one looks like one of those those uh what do you call them eggs fabergé the fabergé yeah it's a bead or limoges yeah so it's like that there's these that are real pretty in there um, there's some Lucite ones like this in there that are vintage. A lot of these are vintage. $3, buy it now. Here's another one of those with the little rhinestone all over it. These are larger size beads. Oh, I separated all the bigger ones like this now. Got Cheryl at three. Okay. Right, Cheryl I got it. Thank Cheryl you, Cheryl. Oh, um, yeah, Cheryl's at three first. Sorry, Rebecca. 
Yep, yeah, sorry, this one was a buy it now. Okay, so we're going to swap back over to Cindy and see what goodies she's got. Okay, guys, um, if you just came in, I offered some craft bags. I offered them at $6, but I've all three of you that bought one, I changed the price down to $5. If you would like to see the other craft bags, um, I will offer them at $5 to you also, okay? But this is what we're going to, I'm offering right now. And I know there are going to be some people that's going, I can't believe she decided to sell it. Okay, first of all, let me tell you, it is broken. It is gorgeous, but it is broken. That right here where it hinges together, it's broken. Maybe if you soldered, you can fix it. It is a snake. It is beautiful, and it's missing only one blue stone right up here. Only one blue. And um, we're going to start bidding on this at $3, guys. $3 on the snake. Maybe somebody can fix him. He's just too gorgeous not to try. Somebody try it, okay? I got you, Rebecca. Anybody interested in the snake trying to fix him? He's got a big rhinestone head. And if you knew how to heat up metal, you might could heat up the metal enough to bend it to make a bracelet out of each part. <laughs> it's a snake and a devil knot. Uh, if nobody's interested, just give me a pass and I'll lay him back over here. You got Moonstone Mama in it. Three. Is this Jamie or Devin? Dude's trying to decide what she could do with him. Got Moonstone Mama in at three. He's just so gorgeous. He was absolutely, positively gorgeous. Jamie. Okay, we're going one time at three dollars. Felt like something that fell there. Going twice at three dollars. Let me put him in a bag. Just in case anything falls out of him. Twice at three dollars. And we're sold to Jamie for $3, okay? Thank you, Jamie. So, does anybody that just came in... Uh, yeah, I, I think she got her, uh, Lena. Does anybody that just came in want to see those craft bags? Because I still have six of them left. Otherwise, I'm going to start back in on... Okay, I have this bag of, it's got the crochet needle, the latch hook, a, a thing like that, 50 cents on this bag. If you want this bag of stuff for 50 cents, just put darn, darn, darn. latch hook, hook holder, and darning needles, and a crochet hook. Okay, I got Rebecca in first at, uh, I mean, Cheryl in first at darn. Cheryl. Whoops. Cheryl. And darn, Jenny, she beat you. <laughs> Okay. A squeaky, squeaky chair. Okay. Let's start in on some paper stuff. Okay. Let me just... Okay. I have this little Mary Englebright journal. It is brand new. It's still in its plastic. 
and uh, this is going to be a buy it now. No, this is going to be a a bid on uh, for we're going to start the bids on this for two dollars because these little things here sell pretty good in they sell for about five ninety seven at Tuesday morning. So <clears throat> Mary Albright for two dollars is where we're going to start. It's a little journal. The uh, pages are just plain marked pages, okay? Start at $2 on it. Are they closing down the Tuesday mornings in your area? Because around here, they're saying they're closing them down. No. Hmm. no. That's one of the places that Tyrone said, I need to go check and see what kind of clearance and sellout prices they had. Hey, Susan Gill. Hey, Susan. Nobody interested in this one at two dollars. <throat> no, Susan, you didn't miss everything. No, I still have a bunch of crafting bags. April, I think, may have a few. I have a few little, yeah, these have like beads, and this one has some Christmassy stuff. Looks like I bought this container that looked like it had teachers' like craft supplies in it, so it was like things that probably they would do with kids. Okay, I'm going to pass on that. Cheryl I'm said we have a club in her area. Hmm. I haven't, I mean, I haven't been in one like in the last several weeks, but I've been in one in the last few months and hmm. didn't say nothing about it. So, anyway, so I'm going to sell these together. I have this C notebook and it's a flip top steno top notebook. And then I have three of these little, no, there's four of them little um pocket notebooks that are that have flowers on them and they came from the dollar tree they these came from the dollar tree these did not and i will sell both both of these for a dollar fifty if you want this for a dollar fifty your word is going to be butterfly butterfly a dollar fifty for those butterfly will be your word Butterfly. All right, Cheyenne said butterfly. Okay. I'll be right back. I want to put this in a in a big bag so that well, I'll have to do it in a minute. Okay. Um, I'm pulling out the rest of my paper things before I get to my. There we go. Okay. So this will be a choice. You'll get to choose. Actually, I'm going to do all three of these. You can choose what you want and i offered that for two dollars while ago you can choose which one of these little um journals that you want at um at a dollar okay there's a mary engelbright here there's a mary engelbright here no that's not mary engelbright that's abingdon park a dollar um uh, this is be still a no and then this mary engelbright so you can choose which one you want for a dollar and um, the first person, this is going to be one, two, three. The first person that puts in the number, one gets it for this one for a dollar, two gets this one for a dollar, or three gets this one for a dollar, or four. This one is a W. This one is a W. So. One, two, three, or four. Okay, Carmen was first on number two. That's Carmen's. I'm writing your name on the outside. Patricia is first on number one. There's plastic on the on them. Okay, uh, Cheyenne. Oops, 
is, yeah, Cheyenne is one. Okay, let's see. Okay, Myra said three and four first. So Myra is three and four first. Okay, so those are a dollar each. I'm sorry, guys. My, the, I done it by how they called for it, okay? So, there is none left. Two went first, one, and then Margaret done three and four, okay? There's none left on that one. Okay. And, let's see. Myra. Okay. Now, this is going to finish up my little paper goods. Okay. I have two boxes of these baby showers. Two boxes of baby shower invitations there are 10 invitations and 12 envelopes in each one they've not ever been opened and if you would like these two boxes for a dollar 50 baby will be your word a dollar 50 on these baby will be your word they're a little bit different but a dollar 50 that's 75 cents baby will be your word It's a little bit blurry again on your end. I don't know. It's, I guess now it's starting to clear up. I think when it's movement or something. Yeah, that's what they were saying when I move. Do I have any babies? Okay. These are from American greeting cards and they are party invitations and it's an Elmo party invitations. Mm -hmm. There's eight cards, eight envelopes. And um, if you would like these for, um, these are almost vintage. <laughs> They're from 2001. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you would like these for a dollar, Elmo is your word. Go on, puppy. Elmo is your word. Anybody for Elmo? And we got Cheyenne and Elmo. Uh-oh, Heather. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. Hmm. And these are from American Greetings. And um, a dollar on them, and Kitty is your word on these. Kitty is your word. Got Cheyenne on Elmo's. Elmo party. Cut those out, make paper dolls out of them. <laughs> and we got Cheyenne at Kitty. So Cheyenne okay. wants Elmo and Kitty. <laughs> okay. One dollar in Cheyenne. Okay. That finished my paper. Before we put it back on you, let me just show these uh, crafting bags right quick. So okay. that if anybody wants one, I have I'm gonna I'm gonna put numbers on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heavy as heavy can be. <sighs> okay. This one here. They will be $5, okay? $5 is what it's going to be. You've got beads. You've got single earrings. You've got findings. <clears throat> you might have pieces of chain in it. But there are a lot of beads in this one. Number one, if you want it for $5, type, write out the word one. 
Okay, Cheryl, I know you were looking for another one of those bags. Cindy's got a few. Now, these weigh about a pound and a half, okay? This one here, $5. There are beads. There are metal parts. I see a few rhinestones in here. I see a bracelet with rhinestones. I see a, um, a few other rhinestone pieces. This is going to be number two, five dollars. Write out the word two. Write out the word two. This one here is beads, metal pieces. I do see pieces of chain in here. I see some shell pieces in here, a big shell piece. Uh, this will be number three. Three. Write out the word three if you want this. <clears throat> and it's got a bunch of, let me just, this one here has this thing. It has rhinestones on it, but it's missing a main rhinestone right in the middle. This is a beautiful necklace, but it's missing this main big rhinestone. Three is your word here, okay? Five dollars is your price. Did I write that out? Three. This one has a lot of metal pieces in it, like metal bracelets, metal earrings, uh, some beads, quite a few beads. There's a metal poinsettia. Mm -hmm. Four is your word here. Five dollars is your price. Four. This one here has quite a bit of metal in it. Uh, a lot of what looks like to be pendants. Um, yeah, some uh, quite a bit of chain. Five dollars is the price. This one is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five Susan has three. Susan wants three. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Cheryl has four and five. Three. Okay. Uh, Susan Gill, Susan Gill, Gill, and Cheryl wants four and five. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cheryl. And Cheryl. Okay, I have one more to show you. Okay, this one here has one of those bracelet pieces in it, like I made. Did I stop me? Like I made this necklace. Come on, let go. Okay, remember I showed y'all this necklace that I showed earlier? So this has a gold bracelet piece in it like that. It has what looks like to be the Chanel symbol, but it's not the Chanel symbol. It's a hammered snake symbol. Uh, it has a lot of beads in it some small ones uh some great big caps there's a big piece of shell in it a uh, mother of pearl shell this will be number six susan is it blurry or are you buffering like it's spinning because so, yeah we are having a little thing with the the blurriness okay so i have one two and six left they will be five dollars if you want them. Tell me. If not, I will do something with them. Not sure. And you can go back to you, and then after you go back to you, I'll do my fabric, and that will be all that I will have. It's just. And Cheryl fabric. said six. Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Let's see. Let's swap back over. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see. This back here, um, if you want it just uh, for two dollars, these are they are open, they have been used. This was part of that box of stuff that I found. These are acrylic beads, and Susan said seven if there is a seven. <laughs> so no, I'm guessing no seven. another one if you I have another two one. left. So these are a little bit bigger than these are, but they're all colorful acrylic beads. 
And uh, like I said, I think I said $2. $2, you can have these. The brand is the Bead, the Beadery. And eight millimeter on this size. No, no, let's see, Daddy. And let's see, six millimeter on this size. So these are eight millimeter, these are six millimeter. They're just acrylic colorful beads. Oh, Susan's saying she can't stay connected is what she's having a problem with. Does anyone want these for $2? Oh, okay. Uh, they come in the bag together, Carmen. So $2 if you want these. Okay. Do you want me to just add this to your previous invoice? Give me what you have left, I guess, since I'm bidding blind. <laughs> That's what Susan said. I'm not sure how many more you have left, Cindy. I have two left. Okay, she had two more left, Susan. Okay, this is another bag of beads that was in that box. There are, this is from the Beadery too. Craft products. Um, apparently these were sold at Walmart for $1.84. These are six millimeter multi. So these are very, these are just like those other ones. These are six millimeter. Then you have the faux pearls right here in this bag. And because the tag's torn off, I don't know. Oh, they're varying sizes and varying shapes of faux pearls in there. And then down in the bottom, you had a lot of random acrylic beads like this. This one you can have for uh, $3 if anyone's interested. I'm trying not to dump them on myself. These have a nice team sound on them. They're acrylic, though. I don't know. These are some discs, beads. They're all in one lot, Susan. Do you want the whole lot, Susan? I'm going to, Cheyenne, I'm going to give her the opportunity since she mentioned the six millimeter. I'm going to give her the opportunity to let me know if she wants the the mixed bag of stuff. It's all the whole bag for three dollars. Faux pearls, six millimeter acrylic, colorful like rainbow colored beads, and a lot of mixture of other acrylic beads. <laughs> Cheryl. Susan, if you want the whole bag for three dollars, just say yes. If not, it'll go Why to shine. Why do you love me so much? Why do you love me so much? Just let me know yes or no, Susan. Do you want the whole bag that includes the six millimeter beads? Because it was all one bag of stuff. Um, Carmen asked for, uh, she asked for the, the other one. She got the other ones. So yes, you want these. Okay. I got you, Susan. Okay. And then there's this bag. Of crafty things. This is the one that includes like Christmassy looking stuff. We'll just start this one at a dollar and let people start bidding, and I'll start describing and telling you what's in it. 
Okay, so you have this little strand here. It's plastic light garland, 1992. So these are vintage. You got that in there. You have another strand in there, but it's not on the board. It's made by Lemax. It's Village Collection. You have some of these little bows with bells in there like this. There's a few of those in there. There's three so far that I've counted. Some pipe cleaner. Looks like they were making like antlers or something with that. Some of this stuff is all individually bagged up. There is this strand. It still has the tag on it. It says Pike Christmas Shop Pike Nursery. So that's a nursery in my area. Um, I'm guessing this would have been a Christmas ornament. It's got the little light Christmas lights. Y'all have okay. Hold on. Can you stop just a second? Mm -hmm. Okay. Carmen and Susan are talking about two different things. Carmen already got some beads, but Susan, the beads that she gave you are mixed beads that have six millimeters in them. Yes. But Carmen did get the ones that were just six millimeters. Yes. So. Well, they were six and eight, and Carmen got that one. And then Susan got the other one with the six and some other beads in there. Right. So they both, they both got yeah. everything. I think they're getting confused there. So. Okay. okay. Here's a little reindeer. It's got a pretty, it's acrylic, I guess, ornament. It's got the little hole. has the silver detailing on it and everything. That's Sweet in there. Heart. Sweetheart is bidding, but I don't know. Has she ever registered with you? I, she's never I registered don't, with me. I don't know, Sweetheart. Sweetheart, you'll have to send your information in to uh, Bougie Bear Vintage, B-O-U-J-E-E, -E, Bear Vintage at Outlook. We need your name, your address, and your PayPal email address. And if you're someone that we know but have a different that had a different name, just tell us, okay? You may it may be somebody that changed their name, so okay, okay. She's saying okay, so okay. So if we, as long as we get your information, we can accept your bids. In this bag here is some of those foam snowflakes. Those are in here. You have in this bag here, somebody turned this uh, tongue suppressor, I guess, <laughs> into a snowman brooch. It has the pin on the back, and they were selling it for a dollar. So somebody was making like Christmassy type stuff. Maybe they sold at craft fairs or something. Um, you have, this is called the... Christmas tree pin craft and it has like these instructions on it and it has all the supplies in the bag so you get the little bitty green popsicle sticks and the green glittery pipe That's cleaner cute. yeah that you is got, cute. Um, you got some brooch pin backs for them you got some sequins down in there that come with it and little stars so this is all you need to make this craft right here. And it has the instructions or whatever in there. That's all in this bag. You have some more snowflakes. And then this one is for making a Rudolph. That's probably where that other, that brown pipe cleaner came from. But it has this piece of like foam there. It has the little Rudolph face there. It has, the, I guess that's his antlers there. Yeah, I'm guessing it turns out looking like this. Goodness. And then it has his googly eyes in there. And his red nose and some pipe cleaner and the little hanger for hanging the ornament. So all that included in this in this bag that is fun you have a sweetheart in it two dollars bless you for kazoo time and all those other words you know so we're at two dollars anybody else let me check my email make sure i received your information sweetheart huh <laughs> 
That sounds funny to say, huh? Okay, honey bunch, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl's in at 225. And Susan's saying she would like the pearls, please. I didn't remember you showing no pearls, but uh, Susan, she got I think she got the pearls. Yeah, she got yeah. the pearls in the bag that she said yes, yes to. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Cheryl's in at 225. Susan, I think we have you all set, darling. I got you for my last two bags, and she got you for the ones that she thought you had said okay. you wanted. So. And sweetheart, is your first name Diana? Is that the correct? Is that you? Okay. We love you already, right. Kathleen. We did get your information. Thank you, you so much. Say, yes, ma'am. So she's in at 250. Don't you start trying to open on me, little man. There goes my lighting again. Went dark looking. There it, it lit back up. Good. It just, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> This is a brand new computer. I guess it's just the way that camera focuses and stuff. Oh, you don't, you just use your computer camera, don't you? Yeah, this you is just a, a, yeah, I don't, you don't use an additional camera. So we're at $3. And Susan, you got it. You got the whole bag. You did. Hey, Haley. Hey, Haley. Okay, Cheryl says she's out. Sweetheart's at $3. Okay. If no one else is going higher than three, then we're going to say sold to Diana for $3. Thank you, Diana. You're welcome. Okay. So the last bit of things that I have over here, well, I hadn't got to my be other beads, but I'll go ahead and do my paper type deal stuff. Okay, good deal. And then at the end of my turn, I'll do my first giveaway for today. You have the option of winning $2 off your purchase or a dollar off your purchase. So let's see how many of these I have. I've got three of these for the first person that says relax. You can have these for $1.50. They're sticky notes. You get this one and this one in each package. Has the little girls at the beach and all that kind of stuff. Is it $1.50 for all three of them? Or $1. No, $1. a piece, and I have three okay. of them. Just say, type in the word relax. Okay. We got one for Carmen. We got one for Jane, uh, Devin. I'm sorry. We've got one left. Uh, I think that may be Jamie. I'm not positive. Oh, is it? Okay. A while ago, it was Jamie. So. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. One more left. Do either one of you ladies want an extra one? Yeah, it's Jamie. If you hey, want an Jamie. extra one, just let me know. Kathleen's asking, are you not going to show any cabs? Yes, I will have to go up there on Cindy's turn this time. I'll go up there and I'll grab the cabs and I'll try to grab some yarn. Okay, we got Cheyenne. So we have one, one for Jamie. We've got one for Carmen. And we've got one for Cheyenne. Thank you. Make sure go ahead and put the price down on there. Okay. That's those three. Then I have three of these. These have um and I didn't even tell you with the other one, but there's two sticky notes, 16 sheets on each sticky note. And these also are $1.50. They have the little car and trees and little directions and then they have that one that's shaped like a little arrow so these are also a dollar fifty and you can use the word car i've got three of them 
Have fun, Haley. Be careful. Bye, boo -boo. Have fun. Be careful in the pool. So we got Cheyenne for one. We got Carmen for one. Mm. And I've got one left. Anybody want the last one? And just type the word car. Papa. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. I'll put this one to the side then. All right. And then the next one, I've got three of these. These say United States. They have the little flag border on that one. They have the, the shape of the United States there. Just type in USA if you want one of these. A dollar fifty. Mm -hmm. If Carmen wants the last car, I got you, Carmen. Dollar fifty. These were regularly two forty nine. I got them for ninety seven cents. But let's see, Carmen. Okay, Jamie. Anybody want USA? I got three of those. I want one of the USA. Okay. Yeah. Cindy. Cindy Lou Bob wants one. <laughs> Anybody else on these two USA? All right, those are going in the drawer. And then the last one has flamingos. So if you want this one, just type in the word flamingo. You got the blue with the water sort of design in the background with the little flamingo. And then you have the circular ones. And they do have like a, almost looks like a grid pattern sort of in the background. I've got three of those. So just type flamingo. They're sticky note pads. They're like nice designer little sticky note pads made by Place uh, Place and Time is the brand. And actually I have four of these. I think I picked up one extra because I know usually everybody likes the flamingos. Got Carmen for a flamingo. There's 16 sheets in each pad. 16 of that one and 16 of that one in each. Yeah, they're sticky notes. They're sticky note pads in there. Yep, sticky note pads. Okay, Kathleen wants one. Thank you. Did you see Carmen wanted one? Carmen wants one. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, none of y'all's pulls. Our, our pool is not open either. Yeah, I don't think community pools around here are either. Their neighbor has a in-ground back there. You want two of them, Kathleen? No problem. I got one left. Did I miss anybody that wanted a flamingo? She got you, Kathleen. She got Kathleen. you, darling. Now, I have one left. Anybody want a flam the last flamingo? Okay. That one in there. All right. I got three of these available. These are double-sided. They are, this is what it says. It says the front is that color and the back is that color. And they are paper strip packs. And it says two-sided paper strips, ideal for punching and die-cutting projects. So I've got three of these. So you can type in green if you want one of these. These are going to be um, $1.50 a pack as well. You're welcome. That almost looks like cardstock almost. 
Yeah, they are. They're cardstock material for punching and die cutting. So that's nice. And they're double sided, so you've got the light green and the dark green. You've got Cheyenne for green. green. Okay, we got Cheyenne for green. Okay. Two more. Two more available. You can make little um, tags, you know, for your jewelry. All kinds of things with these. Use them with your Cricut machine to cut little shapes and designs out of. Nobody else? These are $1.50, Mary, if you're interested. Um, okay. my mama wants one. One left. Mary, do you want one? They're $1.50. Mari, Mari. And Jamie, do I use a different address? For you than I do, Devin. I don't remember if, if that's the case or not. Okay, got you, Mary. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's do a giveaway. How many people we got? 21. We're going to do 1 through 25. There we go. Y'all pick a number between 1 and 25 for the giveaway. You're going to have a chance of winning a dollar off or two dollars off your purchase today. And, you know, like Cindy always says, this is not hosted by YouTube. This is a giveaway for me. There's no purchase necessary to obtain the uh, giveaway prize and so on and so forth. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Oh, I need to write a number down. Um, okay. Anybody else need to put their number in? We're going to call stop in just a second. Last call. Last and call for alcohol. <laughs> and Ryan, if I learned anything, I learned that one from you. <laughs> All right. So we have the number here. Let me tear it off this little piece of paper. That was my number, 23. I see Jude with 24. And yeah, it looks like Jude was the closest to 23. Congrats, Jude. All right, so Jude got the number. Jude, do you want number one or number two? Number one or number two? There goes my light being weird again. Number one. Da, 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 da. Dollar off today. Congrats, dude. I didn't even mean to put the one on one and whatever on the other. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put that in and you'll save a dollar off your shipping today. Or your purchase, however you want to look at it. 
and I'll have the next one. So you'll have an opportunity to win $2 off on the next go round. We'll bring it back over to Cindy and I'm going to go run, look for those cabochons and for that yarn. Okay, guys, we're going to start my section this time with this giveaway. Okay, this time I've put a little uh, enamel flower pin. I, it, these are just single earrings that I clip on them. You can clip anything. You can wear them how you want. We're going to start with this giveaway. This is a uh, repurposed piece that I made, and I'm throwing in this earring and the uh, AB stone earring. And so we're going to start with a giveaway, and you can start putting your numbers in. 1 to 25, okay? 1 to 25. And go ahead and start. Yes, I have a puppy in my dress again. He just... Daytimes is just he needs mama. Needs his mama. So here he is. Got your numbers going, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I see. Let's see. Who do I see? Okay. I see Mary Ann with six. Kathleen's got 22. Carmen's 11. Nine. Buying space. Sweetheart is 14. Moonstone Mama's 12. Patricia's seven. Six. Did somebody else already have six? Mary Pelletier did. So. You guys know, no, am I froze? I'm not, I'm just not moving. Uh, anyway, you know that uh, um, this is not sponsored by YouTube and all those other blah, blah words. It is totally my giveaway. You don't have to like, you don't have to buy from me anything. So it says I'm frozen. Hmm. Wow, it does show me frozen. And don't show me frozen on on the uh, okay. Hold on. Am I still frozen? They're they're saying I'm not frozen there. Okay, it was. It's not frozen now. Okay. Um. So everybody, I'm gonna say stop on on the giveaway. Stop. Okay. I can't type it in because I can't type on from StreamYard, and uh, my YouTube is just circling. So uh, it's yeah. Anyway, so here was my number, number twelve, and um, I saw that Moonstone Mamas. That was Jamie, right? Is that Moonstone Mama Jamie? Uh, giveaway A Moonstone Mamas. You won that necklace thing was that jamie jamie is that you jamie i think it's jamie but if it's dev it's okay i'll make sure before so that was your giveaway so i have one the, oh is that that's devon okay devon okay devon there you go devon okay so guys if you watch my videos, I done a haul on this along uh, several weeks ago, back in early July when I picked up all this fabric. And I'm going to show you Devon. Okay, I got gotcha. you, Miss Devon. I think you'll like that. It's really kind of funky. So, Devon, I may or may not have, I can't remember. I know I bid on one, uh, uh, a moonstone ring the other day in an auction that I will be up for sale pretty soon if I want it. Okay, here we go. I just need it. I'm reaching hard down to get all this fabric out. Fabric gets heavy. <laughs> so I have a big pile of fabric, but it won't take a whole long time because a lot of it is the same. And uh, we'll show. So... Okay, the first thing we're going to start with, there are 16 panels of, I believe it's Peter Rabbit, but it has all kinds of, it may not be Peter Rabbit, has all kinds of Beatrix Potters, there's Miss Tabitha, there's Miss uh, Tiggly Winkly, Tiggly Winkle, 
Anyway, there are 16 of these. Okay. There are four of that one. They're actually, and then they repeat. And then let me show you this other side. Yeah, nope. They, they all repeat, okay? So there's actually four, but there's four of each one. And uh, this is fabric. This is made by, it doesn't say, who. yeah, it does. There it is. It's made by Frederick Warren. This is vintage fabric. It's from 1985. And we're going to start bidding on these 16 panels. We're going to start the bid on these at $4. $4. Guys, this is uh, this is Beatrix Potter, and you've got 16 panels, so you could make up to 16 pillows. You could make um, if you backed them with a different color fabric. You could also make uh, four pillows if you did it one on each side. So there are 16. We're going to start the bidding on these at four dollars. We got Cheyenne in at four dollars. This is Beatrix Potter. Okay. I'm not going to linger a long time on this because I do have quite a few pieces, but I have a bunch of repeats. Okay. Got uh, Kathleen in at four and a quarter. It's so sweet. I just love Beatrix Potter. You're, you're hearing cabochons. Yep, you're hearing cabochons up there. Yes. Yeah. We've got Kathleen in at four and a quarter. Are you back in, Cheyenne, or are you out? Cheyenne's back in at 450. You do know you only have to go up a quarter here. So pretty. This is a vintage piece of fabric. It's from 1985. That's the year I got married, and I can tell you that's 35 years ago. It is gorgeous. And Kathleen is out. We are going once, going twice, final morning. And sold for four dollars and fifty cents to Cheyenne. Thank you, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Okay. And then I'm laying it back in the bucket so it don't get. Okay, guys, this right here is very special. Uh, let me just see. This is from Cranston Village. Cranston Village is a very nice fabric company. And this is a make a book. It is a prayer book you make for little children. It's a children's prayer book. I think it says there's the learning to pray for children. And it has all of these little panels. They have prayers on it. And um, it has the directions printed on the bottom of how to do it. Okay. Um, here it has the directions printed. On exactly how to do it. It is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. It has a very almost Victorian feel to it, like Victorian. The images look like little Victorian children. Anyway, so we're going to start this little book at $4 also. $4 also on the little book. Um, my mom told me when I found this, no more books, that she's not making no more books. <laughs> so we got Kathleen Brandt in at four. Kathleen was in at four first, Cheyenne. Is, look at that sweet little girl. Look at these little girls. I think they're so sweet. So you have... Learning to pray for children. Then you have an, a guardian angel prayer. You have a thank you prayer. Look at this little baby. Look at that little baby with his little arms up. You have the Lord's prayer. You have a morning prayer. And you have grace and blessings. And I love this one right here. Love, love, love this one. With the Look at the little girl having tea with her 
with her pets, with her kitty cat and her puppies. <laughs> that not sweet. No, they're all puppies. I thought there was kitty cats, but it's just all puppies. We've got Kathleen at five and a quarter. This would be sweet if you have grandbabies. I don't have grandbabies. Five fifty to Miss Cheyenne. Let's see the little prayer book. We're at five fifty to Cheyenne. Next up is going to be, and I think, hold on. Okay. Next up is going to be Tinkerbell. Hey, Judy Daly. How are you, darling? Hi, Judy. We're at 650 to Patricia. Somebody's got some grandbabies they're wanting. But I do have some Tinkerbell coming up next. Kathleen is out. We are going once for $6.50. Going twice for $6.50. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Cheyenne for $6.50. Better late than never, sweetie. We're still not done. I've got fabric and and April has um April has um Cabochons and stones. Cabochons and some other things to show. So this is Tinkerbell. And this is a large panel to insert into a quilt. And then you've got the panels to make Pixie Power Pillows. you got two panels to make a Pixie Power Pillow. So this is a, a large panel. Because, and when I say large, the reason I'm saying it's large is because it has the quilt panel and it has the pillow panel because I do have some not Tinkerbell but I have some other ones that are uh, just quilt panels okay so this one is purple and green Tinkerbell and it says fairy charmed on it it says fairy charmed and uh, we're going to start bidding on this one this has been washed I can you can tell by the way it feels it's been washed uh, it is made by it is made by spring industries it is copyrighted by disney it is a, a disney product that is copyrighted um and we're going to start the bidding on this at three dollars guys three dollars on this one just because it's been washed because i can feel that it's been washed the other ones none of the other ones have been washed this one has which i mean most people wash things before they sew with them anyway but you can just feel we've got Carmen in at three. Carmen is in at three. Cheyenne is in at three fifty. So this is going to be um, Tinkerbell purple. We got Carmen at four. Tinkerbell, this is purple and green. That is a light purple, almost lavender and green with the bright blues. Diane is in at five. Carmen is in at six. There's another Tinkerbell piece. I think that's another Tinkerbell piece. Let me just make sure. I don't want to tell you and then it not be. No, this next piece is a Cinderella piece. I'm sorry. There is a Cinderella piece coming up. Got Cheyenne in at six fifty. Carmen's in at eight. Cheyenne is out. We are going once at eight dollars. Going twice at eight dollars. Final warning, and we are sold to Carmen for eight dollars. Okay. This one is Cinderella. And this is a large quilt panel piece for you to like make a quilt or a wall hanging. And this is Cinderella with the castle. And it says, 
Dear Diary, I am dancing on air. I wanted to go to the ball, but I didn't have a thing to wear. Then my dear little TJ or TG, GG, fairy godmother, just whips this whip this gorgeous gown up for me out of thin air. It's she's a genius with fashion. Anyway, and so we have Cinderella. And this is a licensed Disney piece. Okay. And we're going to start Cinderella at $4. Cinderella starts at $4. And guys, if you're not crafty, let me tell you, you can look online for people who do machine quilting and you can take this to somebody that has a machine quilt and they make you a little quilt out of it. And usually at this size, it's not a whole lot of money. I'll just tell you that much. Not around here. It might be in California or somewhere, but usually at this size, you can have it made into a little quilt for less than $30. So... Somebody do machine quilt. All you have to do is provide a piece of fabric for the backing. So it's really pretty. So we have Carmen at seven. I see that Cheyenne started at four, that Carmen went five, Cheyenne six. Now Carmen is in at seven. Cheyenne is out, so anyone going higher than seven? If not, it's going to be Carmen. Okay, sold to Carmen for seven dollars. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, um, let me just tell you right now I have one, two, I have about five different patterns left. Let me do these two Jedi ones and then we'll, I mean, yeah, Jedi ones and then we'll do, um, no, three Jedis, which I have three just alike and then we'll switch it back to you, okay? Yeah, you're fine. So these are pillow panels. These are, uh, Lucasfilm. So they are a licensed product from Spring Industries, and you have Yoda Jedi on that side. It says Yoda, and what does it say? Yoda Jedi Master, and then on this side, you have Darth Vader, and these are to make pillows, and I have three of them, okay? Three of them. So, we're going to start bidding on these at $3, and then after we finish the bids, and this is from 2005, after we finish the bids on these, then uh, I will offer, we'll see how they, how we do. I'll, I'll give you the chance to go uh, for all of, okay, we got Kathleen in at three first. Three first, and they're all just alike. There's three of them, but this is, we're only bidding not for one, not for all three, okay? Just understand that. You're not bidding for all three. We're bidding for one to buy one. So, yep. We've got Kathleen and Cheyenne both in at three. If I get one more $3 bid, I'll give y'all each one at $3. So, these are Yodas. Okay, I'm going to say that one of these is sold to Kathleen for $3. One of these is sold to Cheyenne for three dollars. Mm -hmm. And Cheryl wants one for three dollars. And Cheryl wants one for three dollars. Okay, guys. Congrats, ladies. Yay. There we go. Okay, you can go back to you. Oh, okay. And then I'll have like Four more pieces of fabric to to go through after we okay. I mean four more selections of fabric not pieces i've got several pieces of one of them okay cheyenne this is what i had for um 
for yarn, there's one, two of these pink, and then there's one of this darker pink with like a piece of another darker pink of the same kind. Um, if you're interested in this one, and then I have this one that's purples in there with like a sort of a light kind of periwinkle purpley blue. But um, if you're interested in these, these are uh, $3.50 for a piece for these. And this one also has that ball of um, that color. $3.50 a bag? $3.50 a bag. Anybody want some yarn? And it's um, simply soft, six ounces. So there are six ounces and 315 yards of uh, acrylic. This one, you want both? Okay, gotcha. And that's what I had for the uh, yarn. Okay. Now, when it comes to cabochons, let me see if I can get this to work. <laughs> I'll show you what I have. Somebody tell me when, when you see something that you want to bid on, and then we'll start bidding. This is a cat's eye. Cabochon, a green cat's eye cabochon. Now, I've got my, here we go. Tell you how big this one is. This one is an inch in length. That is an inch in length by almost an inch. Pretty much, I think it's an inch by an inch. Yeah, I'm waxing on and waxing off, trying to get that light to focus. But so you have this cabochon here. It's a green cat's eye cabochon. I've got this how light cabochon. Let's see, it is almost an inch wide. I Did have. <laughs> Did somebody say, huh? I said, are you still here, Devin? Because she was huh. wanting cabochons not too long ago from you. Yeah. This is a snowflake obsidian cabochon. Ooh, that's pretty. There's the light again. It's not acting right. Then I have a dyed howl light cabochon here in orange. That one is... This one's a little over an inch long here. It's oblong. That's the back of it. That's the front of it. I have... Uh, moon, uh, Moonstone Mama wants the snowflake obsidian. Okay, we're going to start that one then. We'll start at five on that one. I love your glasses if I haven't told you. Thank you. I'm loving them. I, I like having a new pair. I had that same old pair for so, so long. <laughs> so we got the Snowflake Obsidian. That's the back and that's the front. And there's how it's shaped. It's like if I get too close, it starts to get dim. Thank you. It's kind of wild, <laughs> in my opinion. All right. So are we in at five? Do you want to bid five? There it goes again. Jamie, are you in for five on this? I think it was Devin. You'll pass. You'll still pass. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll come to, we've got this Howlite here. 
And once you, once you say that you um, want them, then she'll stop to start an auction. So yeah. And this one is this one's an inch inch long, and it has you know it's cornered off like that. She needs AM. I don't know what AM is. You need an amethyst. Okay. I don't have an amethyst. I'm sorry. There's a how like there teardrop shape. Okay. That's about okay. three quarters of an inch long. That's pretty. In the back. An egg. Here is a, I guess you'd say a grayish, blackish cat's eye here. Oh, that's pretty. And it's round. It has a little bit. Some of these I have removed from other jewelry. I can get the glue off the back of it, but it does have a little bit of glue on the back of it. And that one's about a half inch wide. And then I have a small little cat's eye, white cat's eye square. That's about one, two, three, about four centimeters wide there. So those are the cabochons I have available because there are some that I have set aside for me. But that's what I have available. <laughs> there are some that she has set aside for her and no, you can't have them. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they can be real expensive, real, real expensive. And so, yep, I hold on to what I, what I can. So we'll set oh, those. Just admit up. it. We're all hoarders. We hoard yes. it up. <laughs> we hoard. I have a palm stone here too. If anybody's interested, we can bid on this palm stone. This came from India. I ordered a bunch of different palm stones. And right now this is the only one I can bear to part with because I had two of them. <laughs> But if anyone okay. interested in this one, we would start this one at five dollars. Anybody need a palm stone for five dollars? White bag. There you go. That's so pretty. It's um, how big is this one? It's three inches long. I still have the blue one you gave me. I've not done nothing with the lapis. That. Yeah, I still have some lapis over here too. I want to make some pins because they're not quite as big as this I one. Love, I love Kathleen. Okay, thank you. She wanted the ones that you didn't. So. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I do have some, some cool ones over there. That is hilarious. I think it's um, it's either some kind of banded agate or maybe a soapstone. I'm not sure. For sure. Cheryl Sieber is in at five dollars. All right. Uh, Michelle, you'll have to go up just a little bit. Yeah, five dollars on the palm stone. Yeah, we knew that's what you were bidding on, Miss Cheryl. If y'all like the palm stones and you would like me to get some more, I can try to find a way to get some more. I wanted to make like large pendants with them. That's what I was getting them for. But I realized when I got them that some of them are a little too heavy and some of them are a little too big to do the pendants with. But I do have smaller ones that will work out great for a large pendant. You'll need to go up to at least five feet, I think, to uh, be, bit, be in the bid or five and a quarter or whatever. Does she have to go higher than five because Cheryl was first at five? At least that's what I see. Is that what you see? Mm -hmm. Michelle, do you want to? Uh, she went 550. Did she? Okay. I was able to get a lapis and jasper. You know what? This one might be the soapstone because I think this one is the agate. I could show y'all some of the other ones that I was able to get. She'll show y'all them, but she's not going to sell them to you. Because <laughs> I think, I, I'm thinking, isn't that the Laramar right there? Because it's got a lot of sand, you know, that's the sand that goes through them. I, I was able to get a couple of those. Um, the Jasper ones like that. 
This one I think is the agate here with the banding in it. See, this one's smaller in comparison, so I can make a large pendant that's, with that lapis lazuli. That's like that's what I'm the size of the one I have. Yeah, and I think I have another one as well. And then there's another one. Uh, uh, Jude is saying that one that you showed and said is in it. Laramar is not Laramar. Not. So Lermar. what is that stone? Oh, that I see the blue in it now. Then yeah, it's now blue it's and it has the sand and stuff that's in it. So. I don't know. Comes from India. Okay, the one that she's holding up, we're not sure. We think it's a soapstone, Vita. We're I'm at six dollars. Cheryl said she is it. out. Cheryl said she is out. Michelle, um, they're saying Amazonite, Caribbean calcite. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah. Hi, Vita. This one's tinier too. That'll be good for a for a necklace. All right, so we are out. Mich Michelle's at six, and that's it. We're done. Cheryl's out. All right, we're sold to Michelle for six. Thank you, Michelle. The one that she's holding, maybe onyx or banded agate. Hey, Dev, did you hear me say a while ago that I bought a 95 carat okay. Labradorite yesterday? A 95 carat Labradorite. But it's not set in sterling. That was my only disappointment. It was just set in silver tone metal. But 95 carats, I can't wait to get it. So. Yeah, I can't wait to see how big it is because that sounds pretty, pretty big. So what are you okay. selling next? Next, I've got this little bag of freshwater pearls. They are that green. They have that green sheen on them. They are drilled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the pearls in here with that like green and that light kind of green color. And we can start these at uh, $2. Start at $2, Vita, if you're interested. $2. Going to bid on them. Two dollars. Take them out of the bag. Show you one. They're just like I guess you'd call them baroque. Vita's pearl. in it too. You said pearl. That's speaking Vita's love language. Yeah, these are real freshwater pearls. She loves her some pearls. Yeah, there is green onyx. I have had I have a piece of jewelry that has green onyx in it. But I've just never seen the onyx like that. So what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pearls in here. If no one else is interested, we're gonna sell these to Vita for two dollars. Thank you, Vita. Sold to Vita. All right. So we have some Howlite here beads. Varying sizes. I can't get this thing. Varying size. Pearl, pearl, pearl. And um, we'll start this one at $2. Those are Howlite. Dodd Howlite. Sorry, I was singing the Pearl Pearl song for uh, Jamie. Dodd <laughs> Hella in varying sizes starting at two dollars. You've got, got a bag of them. that. You've got some like that. I think that is the two sizes. They Just, are drilled. Yes, Peter, yes, they are drilled. They are drilled. And then there's a piece of carnelian in there, too, because my daughter put it in there when she was bagging them up. So you get one carnelian bead as a bonus. Uh, bonus bead. Yes, they are drilled. They are drilled. The only time I wouldn't have anything drilled would be with uh, my tumbled stones. 
We're at $2 for Vita. And I'm going to move a little faster. So if nobody else wants them, we're going to sell them to Vita. Sold to Vita. Thank you, Vita. Okay. We have How Light in blue. This is still intact, a, a still intact necklace. So you can cut it apart. You can um, redesign it or you can wear it as is if you want to. These are a little bit, these are larger like pebbles instead of like just the little chips. Yeah. These are more like little pebbles. So we're going to start this one at um, $3. Oh, I bid three dollars on it. I can't type. We got Vita at three. Okay. I'll go three and a quarter. Three fifty. No, I'll go three fifty. Let me see if I can get over here so it'll let me type. Every time I get over here, it's like way back <laughs> when I get over here it's like on the palm stone hey <laughs> okay there we go I don't know if this will show up or not but I'm putting 350 in so there it goes it showed up so we're at 350 for Cindy and I need those like I need a hole in my head <laughs> But you know me and beads and blue and anything that looks turquoise. Your video keeps going back to Cindy. Going back know. to not to Cindy, but to also. Her keep video keeps going back also. Bye back. What do we mean? Um you have to just stay on your live button. It's not Keeping up with the live. It is very pretty color blue. They are. Lita says she's out. Okay. So you're going to get these for $350. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll share some of them with you, Vita. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> and if I keep them for a while and don't do anything with them, I'll let you know and you can have them for me. There we go. Well, I have this smaller strand here. Oh, you're going to do a smaller strand now? Yeah, we're going to do um, $3 on this one because it's a lot longer. Got a really long one here, and it's still intact as well, so it can be worn this way if you wanted to, but the way it's been done, it's been strung on fishing line, and it's not really finished off properly, so I would suggest, you know, breaking them down. So we got Vita at 3 Oopsie. Let's see. How long of a strand is this? It is pretty long. It's almost 30. It was 26 and a half inches long. <laughs> okay. I see what you're saying, Jude. All right, so Vita, those are yours for three dollars. Thank you. All right, Goldstone. I got chips of Goldstone. I didn't cut those off the thing either. I left them on there. Start these at three dollars. And I love Goldstone. These are seven. 17 a little over 17 inches long i did not know until I mean, in the dark <laughs> so devin was telling us that goldstone is a totally man-made stone yeah mm -hmm. now sandstone from what i heard and read isn't but goldstone is and yeah. sandstone is like a lighter kind of color and has a sparkle to it 
Hey guys, anybody going three dollars on the gold stone? I'm trying to see if that lamp would help, but it doesn't look like it really will. Anyone for Goldstone? Got beat at three. Okay. Then I'm out. I'll let Vita have it. Okay. I, I'm just mm -hmm. like Jennifer. I can't bear for somebody not to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Vita, you got it for three dollars. Thank you, Vita. Okay. Glass faceted beads. I've got some more stone, but I'll swap over to some glass faceted beads. If you want to buy these now for three dollars, you got different size. It's all blue. Like I went with like oceany colors of blue. Well, that was a green. I put greens in there too. So you got greens and blues. Different size faceted crystal beads. These are all glass. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Hi, Laura. Different glass beads. Got that pretty cobalt blue with and the. These are a buy it now at three dollars. Is that correct? Buy it now three dollars. Yeah. Do they have a word they need to say? You can type in the word blue. Some of them I left on the little metal parts, so that you can well, just hang them. Pop in three. Okay, Vita's got it. Or am I not refreshed? No, she typed in three right before I said the word, ask you what to type oh, in. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it, Vita. She's got it. Now she's looking it. at the I'm looking at the screen, so you'll just have to kind of help me a little bit. Yeah, she typed in blue. Thank you, Vita. I just want to get through these here. And then I'll be doing it on my end. These, I don't know why she, I don't know. 50 cents. Does somebody want some black glass beads that are random? My daughter bagged these up. There's three of these, like eight millimeter beads. And then there's some hearts in there. And then some little, like more or less seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. Five hearts. And then those four, uh, th no, there's three bigger ones. And then one that's a little bit smaller. But they're glass. 50 cents if anybody wants those. Dude, I'm glad you can't see my face because I'm making a gagging motion. I hate peas. peas. <laughs> I hate peas. Okay. Nobody's interested in those. We'll put those over there out of the way. Um, oh, Vita does. Okay, gotcha, Vita. Vita. Vita, 50 cents. Thank you. I don't know why she bagged those up like that. These are all hematite right here. Different shapes, sizes, everything. Um, if you want to buy these now, buy these now for $3. Just type hematite. As close as you can spell it. <laughs> hematite. Those some are round cute. ones. There's some tube shaped ones. Like that. There's some chips of it. Jenny, I still have some fabric coming. These are hematite beads. Anybody want hematite? And I'm not seeing anybody say hematite. Okay. But... I have a little bit of a lag, I do believe. So I think I do too. Oh, I'm on top chat too. I need to switch over to live chat. That might help. <clears throat> yeah, that might help, Cindy. Well, that those two side. I've got some carnelian chips. <clears throat> Buy these now for five dollars if you want carnelian chips. There's probably about, I don't know, I haven't weighed it or anything. I didn't weigh it, but I would say at least like four tablespoons full of these things. <laughs> to kind of give you a chips. Do you have any apple matches? Apple matches. What does that mean? 
I don't know. Apple matches. Apple matches. I'm trying to think of a stone that would sound like that. If she says amethyst chips, is that what you're trying to say? Amethyst chips? Oh, apple patches. Um. Oh, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I haven't bought any more patches in quite a while. Does anybody want the carnelian beads? Chip beads? Okay, we're going to pass on those. I don't know this stone. This is the one when I was doing the unboxing. Um, how much for the carnelian? I said five, buy it now. That's the one I was guessing serpentine, but I don't really know. There's a strand of those. They are on a like a cord. You know what? They come like that from uh, when you buy them from yeah. houses, uh, bead houses. 18 I've inches. Got, I've got them like that. 18 inches for this one. This one would be $3. Buy it now. I want it. You want it? Yeah. Okay. We got Cindy for $3. Thank you. Okay. I don't want that sliding off that stool over there. I don't know this one either. It's a necklace that has the um, barrel clasp on it. Brown beads. Same thing. $3. Buy it now. They're a little bit thicker chips. They're not like thin little chips. Hush, Vita. And they're <laughs> brown. She said, I'm not playing fair. You're not playing fair? Can't type. I got a doggy on my chest. We got Cheyenne for three. Got you, Cheyenne. Thank you. She stuck her tongue out at me. I see that. Cheyenne. Three dollars. Y'all have to show my boo some love and buy something from her. All right. People go silent in that chat. Makes it so uncomfortable on my end. Because I don't talk. All right. Let's see. We got some um, rose quartz beads in here. And looks like Haley stuck some other kind of bead in there. So I don't know what that is. But we'll leave it in there. You got rose quartz beads. I'd say these are probably like... Are they? Wow. Oh, wow. Hold up. These are different. They are rose quartz. But I thought they were round. They're not. They're shaped like this. Like that. Like two balls stuck together. Ah. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, those almost are weird. Like a, almost like, so a, like I guess you can rotate them and connect them like, like this when you make stuff. Oh, that would be cute. And since these are unique shapes, I've never seen these before. I wish she would have told me about that. She didn't even say anything. Um, we're going to start these at um, $3. Rose quartz. We're going to bid on these, starting mm -hmm. the bid at $3. Yeah, because these are some unique shaped beads. And to be honest, I've looked through many of bead sites and stores, and I've never come across shapes like this. So you can interlock them together that way when you're making stuff. Jenny's Gems is in at three. Kathleen, if you're sweet to me, I might send you a few of them. They're all giving me a hard time about me buying the green chips. Oh my goodness. Everybody was so quiet and nobody knew. <laughs> nobody knew. My yes, puppy says, Y'all leave my mommy alone. Mm -hmm. I think this is just glass, but it's a little teardrop glass bead that'll be in there too. I don't know why she threw it in there. Maybe it was on this necklace and she just cut it up and put it in there. Jenny says she's in at three. That's the right. only bit I see. You got it, Jenny. Thank you. They're yours, darling. Okay, let's see. What else I got over here? Shell. 
This is one of those that came from the bracelet. And uh, this one can be a buy it now for $2. You got dyed, dyed abalone shell. They are drilled. They're drilled just like they were for when they were on the elastic bracelet, but they're cool for crafts. And you could always wrap them and hang them as pendants this way as well. Vita, think of the earrings you could make out of those, sugar. Right? Those would be really pretty oh, earrings. Those would be really cool. Yeah. Those are bite nails for what? $2. There's, there's a bunch of them in there. You can make a bunch. I'm giving y'all a chance. I'm giving y'all a chance. All right, Vita said two dollars. You got it, Vita. Okay, Vita, you have to make me some earrings out of them. Yeah, me too. I want a pair because <laughs> they do look really pretty as earrings. That's what I do, though. I take stuff apart like that and recreate it into something else. I don't know if anybody's interested in this at all. If you are and you just want it, just say want, and it'll be a freebie for you. I think it's coconut core. And it is drilled, and they look like this. And there are four of them in there, so you could actually make two pairs of earrings or something out of them as well. But if you want them and you want to just check them out, I'll send them with your stuff, no charge. Mary said want. Okay, gotcha, Mary. See, there's hidden giveaways in there, too. <laughs> I see that hidden giveaway. All right plastic beads again and then there's some rose looking beads in there you know if you want these just say want and these are a dollar want for a dollar these are these are acrylic beads all right you got it Vita these rose colored glasses Here's some uh, Howlite chips. These are like on the smaller side. These are buy, buy it now for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Buy it now still has the light barrel closure. Mm -hmm. Buy it now for a dollar. I see Vita with a dollar. All right. You got it, Vita. And I have just a few other little pieces over here. We'll be done. We'll go back to you. And y'all don't forget, we got Heather at the end with a surprise for what she's going to offer. Is she even still here? She is. She's still there. Bless her patient heart. Look at you, Heather. You're so patient. <laughs> Carol Thomas. Hi, Carol. All right. This is pretty cool. We're going to, we'll let y'all bid on these. These are all glass. Start two dollars. Look at that heavenly light in my background. Let me take this lamp off. It looks so weird. Okay, these are glass, and then you do have these beautiful. You have those glass that has like the gold, the gold in them, the art glass. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight of those in here. There's eight of those. And then there's a bunch of these right here that are your bicone glass black beads. And they're on these little things like this. You can take them all off if you want. But you have some of them that are still on these little sections like that. You can turn mine in a pair of earrings too. Carmen's in it too first. You'll have to go up at least a quarter, Vita. And then some of them are loose down in, in there. Black glass beads by cone on these. And then you have all those really pretty art those glass. Art glasses are real pretty. A lot of glass with yeah, the gold they in them. They look like they even have jump rings on them. They do. All this stuff came off of another piece of jewelry that we just removed the beads off of that piece of jewelry. So those, all they need is a hook and you're ready to go. You got a pair of earrings um, or a pendant. <laughs> I mean, they're they're almost like ready to make jewelry. And then you have those if you wanted to make the necklace. 
beaded or like I said, these look fun, like as if they were like tassel earrings because they're cha -cha already earrings. make cha cha earrings. Like yeah, a cha -cha mm -hmm. All right, we are at three dollars for Carmen. All right, going one. <laughs> Or twice. Oh, we got Carol at 325. Haven't sold yet. Carmen, do you want to go higher? Carmen's at four. Try to come back. There we go. All right, Carol is out. So we got Carmen at four. Thank you, Carmen. Carol was trying to snap. Oh. I'm teasing. Okay, these are stone. They are purple and they are blue. And they are fairly large chunks of like tumbled stone beads. They're drilled. They're in purple and they're in blue. I next time I'll have a ring light. This is ridiculous with my lighting. Anyway, these are buy it now, uh, three dollars. Okay, and the up. word. The word. Just type in PB for purple and blue. PB. Purple and blue. That's your word. Three dollars. And they are stone beads. Type in PB. Those are pretty. There's some type of quartz that I think is dyed. Gotcha, Vita. Thank you. Vita, Vita. Oh. All right, let's put these. Let's put these together. You got some crystal bicone beads. Again, I don't get, I haven't got in there with a microscope or anything to know if those are Swarovski, but they shine like those Swarovski crystal beads do. They're quite beautiful. These are glass. You've got the yellow ones, and then you've got some uh, blue ones in here too. A couple of them. And the bicone. In that bag, I'm going to add those. These seed bead glass beads and stuff. These little spacer silver tone beads. They have not been tested, so I don't know if they're sterling or not. And I'm going to add these glass little vintage beads that are in red, white, and blue. I think these are from like the 60s or the 70s right here. And uh, I'm going to put these all together and we can start um, a bid if you want them for start at $3. They're a bid, Vita. It's a bid. You got a bid on these. $3. Hi, these beads, these are time? glass in red, white, and blue. You've got those, like I said, untested, silver tone, decorative beads, spacer beads, some seed beads and other odd end glass beads, and then these crystal glass faceted beads right here. Oh, I just hiccuped. <laughs> Soda pop. It started thundering. Uh, Kathleen, there's Swarovski in here. You did yeah, what? Yeah. You did go swimming, but it started to rain. Yeah, they're possible. It's a possibility because I, I don't know, but I know I have been shown and I've been told that you can look closely at the beads and Swarovski actually marks their beads. So you'd have to take a loop and look at them closely. Anyway. To look for the writing on there. Kathleen's one of the per people that told me about it, and I looked it up online, and she she's right. They they do mark them on their beads. Okay, Vita's in at three. I don't see anybody else bidding with her. All right, then we're just gonna go ahead and sell those to Vita if no one else is interested. Sold to Vita. Thank you, Vita. And that is officially the end of that. And I've got a my last giveaway that I can just do. I can do that after you're done. Okay. Okay. Let me swap back over to you. Okay. I'm going to make sure I'm on the page. Okay, guys. Oh, my gosh. My back is hurting. 
Okay, I have some fabric left, and we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to go through it quickly. I have multiple pieces. So, um, but for, I only have one of these, and this is three-fourths of a yard of Christmas fabric. You've got little oh, Christmas patches that says Christmas is in the heart, deer, snowman. Um, there's three-fourths of a yard, and this is going to be a bite now. For two dollars, and your word will be patch. Patch. Patch will be your word. Two dollars is the price. Patch is your word. You can make a mask out of these for Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas patches. Patch is your word. This is um from. I'll tell you who the company is. Patch is your word. I believe this is probably another Cranston. Nope. This is. Fabric Traditions. This is vintage also. It's from 1994. I got it for Patch. As long as that's what shows up on your end. Uh, yeah, I'll show you at Patch first. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the last bite now, Cheyenne. Okay? That's the last one of the bite nows. The next one is going to be uh, multiple things where there will be more than one item and more than one person can get bougie okay it will be kind of a bite now but it'll be multiples okay guys i have five pieces of this one two three four five pieces of this this is a nice size panel that is to make a quilt and uh to put in a little quilt or you can make a wall hanging you could make whatever you want it says, springtime blessings, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, Galatians 5.23, and I'm going to show you what it is. I have five of these. If you would like one of these for $3, um, blessing is your word. $3, blessing is your word, and I have five of them. So... Up to five blessings can get it. Five blessings. So you've got little ducks, you've got little eggs, you've got little birds. We got Vita a blessing. You got Vita for a blessing. So there's four more. There's four more guys. Spring blessings. Three dollars, Vita. I got four more, guys. They're really cute. Got these little ducks in their raincoats. Yeah, they're dying Easter eggs. You got a fruit basket. I'll be right back, Cindy. Nobody else want a blessing? Okay, there's four of those. You'll take two. Two at three dollars. Okay, I got two for you. Yeah, I make a super cute baby blanket. So I have three left. Okay, there's three left. I'm going to put them right here. Next up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these, okay? Let me just double count. Six of these. I want those out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I have six of these. They will be $3 each. And these are um, these are Easter for Easter, and they're like a little panel for a quilt. It's called Greater Love, Greater Love, and you have a cross, and it says the greatest of these is love, and it has a cross and doves, and there are six of them, and they're three dollars each. 
And if you want one of these, love is your word. If you want one of these, love is your word. Try not to move real fast. But they're really pretty and bright. Love is your word. It says the greatest of these is love. It has a cross on it. $3. I have six of them. Make a beautiful Easter flag for out front if you knew how to make it into a flag or an Easter decoration or a little Easter throw. There are six of them. Anybody want love? Love is your word. The colors on it is beautiful. Yes, you're right. They've got tulips down the side. See the tulips going down the side? And while we're not bidding on them, there's enough of them that uh, you won't love but not the fabric. <laughs> there's enough of them that uh, uh, y'all can just say, and I have plenty to... Like I said, I have six pieces of it. You know what? I'll do these for $2 each if you want, want one of them. Since I have so many, I'll do these for $2 each. And they're a big piece of fabric. They're actually... Let me just measure this and I can tell you. They're actually 40, probably about 43 inches long by, um, it looks like right at. Thirty-three inches wide, forty-three by thirty-three. So they're a big piece of fabric. Two dollars, guys. Love is the word you need to enter. Love. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody wanting any love or any blessings. Okay, I have one. Two, three, four, five of these. Oops. Five of these. You want love, two of them? Okay. I got two at two dollars each. Easter love. Cheyenne. Okay. One. Two. Okay. 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 I have, uh, I was counting one, two, three, four, five. I believe these are all the same. Let me just look. Yes. I have five of these Polly Pocket pillows. This is on this side. And this is on this side. There are five of them. They are Polly Pocket. And uh, if you want one of these for $2, Polly will be your word. You want to love? Okay, Vita, I got you out of love. Michelle wants two of the, yes, Michelle, I got you two at $2 for the Easter love. Okay, Michelle. I've got, yeah, I got Michelle. Is that the two that, yeah. Okay, I have Polly. You want one of the Pollys at $2? One at $2. Polly. 
Cheyenne. Cheyenne, were you the one bidding for the Tinkerbell a while ago with uh, with uh, um, Carmen? So I have one Polly going to Cheyenne. I have four left. Guys, at $2, you could technically make two different kinds of pillows because you could put your own fabric backing on it make two different pillows out of the panels or you could make one that's two dollars for Polly so if you wanted Polly two dollars yes you were okay Cheryl wants Polly how many Polly's okay one two three four I got all four of the Polly's gone at two dollars that's to Cheryl okay yes you were Okay, guys. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to do. And if this doesn't seem fair, I'm sorry, but I feel like it is fair. So, a while ago, I sold a purple Tinker Bell to Carmen for $8. And... I thought I only had one of them, but I actually have two of them. Let me make sure I didn't lay this one back down. Okay. So, I have two of them. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give. Hold on, Vita. Don't hold on. Because Cheyenne was bidden. Well, ago, I'm going to give Cheyenne first chance at this Tinkerbell because she was bidden earlier and she wanted one real bad. And I thought I only had one. So, Cheyenne, if you want it, you can have it for $8. If not, then we will start it all over to bid again. Or we can start it all over to bid again. Let me know what you want. Vita can have it, but thank you. Okay. It's $8, Vita. Okay. Okay. And hold on, guys. Oops. There we go. Let me just make sure nobody else. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. I have one more giveaway. Hi, Patsy Crafty. Patsy, let me show you the, the fabric I have left if you're interested in it. Everybody else has already passed on it. So, uh, I have these. I have, this is Easter. It's called Easter Love. It has a cross. And it says the greatest of these is love. And these are $2. And I have, how many do I have left? I have, I sold five. So I must have had seven of these. Because I picked them up. Anyway, I know I have one of these left if you want one for $2. Because I, I counted six while ago, but I'm, I'm seeing... So, these are $2. Yeah, he's, he's, he's growing so big. So, anyway. And then I have... Okay, she said one. How many you want, uh, Patsy? Okay, she. I just have one available of oh, those. Just one, so okay. One. one at $2. Love. Uh, Patsy. And Patsy, I owe you 50 cents. And I'll explain it here in a minute, okay? And this one here is the other thing that I have left. I have three of these left, and they're $3 a piece. And these are the Springtime Blessings. It's called Springtime Blessings. Nope, that's the cross again. Mm-hmm. Okay, I may not have got all those put up. Okay, this one is Springtime Blessings. 
and um, it has Easter Easter scenes. They're dying, dying eggs, and it says springtime blessings. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. Anyway, and they're three dollars, and I have three of them left. Three dollars of these. So three of these. Okay, one and. If you want one of those, there are three, and that's in. That's all that I have left of my fabric. All the rest of the fabric is gone. Um. Anyway, Patsy, what I owe you fifty cents for was I was going through my crafting uh sheet sale last time. Okay, she wants one of the springtime blessings. I got you, sweetie. Anyway, and I charged you a dollar on that invoice for that floral tape, and it was only supposed to have been 50 cents. So I owe you 50 cents. So minus 50 cents. There we go. I write that. Okay, I'm going to do my last giveaway. Pick okay. a number between 1 and 25, and we will be done. And then I have one giveaway left as well. And then we got Heather with her items. Yes, then we have Heather with her stuff. And I'm going to have to get up after I give my thing away and start my, put my chicken on to cook. There okay. we go. Otherwise, supper won't be done in time for church. Yeah, I'm realizing it's it's late. <laughs> We've been here a minute. <laughs> I think he just left. I think I heard his car come back. Unless that was just me hearing things. Tyrone? Yeah, I think he left somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, and y'all want to know what I'm giving away this time? I'm giving away this brand new strand of red acrylic beads. Well, actually, there's two strands. Two strands, and they're acrylic red beads. They have the little spacers and all that kind of stuff on them. Totally. <laughs> and yes, I did pay $2.50 for them. I did, I did. I paid $2.50 for them. So Haley's Haley put in her number. She can put in a number. Okay, <laughs> puppers, you need to go bye bye. Oh my baby, him so cute. Oh, him so pretty. Him needs a bath. Him smell like pee pee. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Mom's not putting me down. There you go. Oh, I love when he does that little yawn. <laughs> He's so cute. This is why he gets away with bloody murder. Because <laughs> he's cute. He's just rotten. <laughs> him just rotten. To the bone, him rotten. Hey, Anamora. All right, we're going to call stop. And let's see who won. My number is 19. Number 19. And we have. Like Patsy is close to that sweetie. Yep. Congrats, Patsy. You won, Patsy Crafty. Congrats. Congrats. Patsy Crafty won the giveaway. Giveaway two. Thank you, sweetie. And I'm going to do the same thing. So let's pick a number again. 1 to 25. And I have a $2 off coupon. $2 off coupons. There we go. And also. Hey, go see what daddy's doing. See if he needs any help, okay? Go see what daddy's doing. Mommy needs to make sure what she's got here. I forgot I left my ice cream from yesterday in the freezer, so I got ice cream. <laughs> Haley, what's the purpose in you bidding, boo-boo? There is none. I'm going to remove hers. <laughs> There's nothing she can save $2 on. 
Unless she wants to give it away to somebody. I didn't think about that. She could have gave it away to somebody. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Well, I hope everything's all right, Jude. Are you okay, Jude? We'll give it a couple more seconds, and then we're going to say stop. I did. I did, Jenny. Did you miss all the items that I had earlier? Yeah, we were on our last go round, Cindy showing her fabrics at the end. All right, so I put in stop. My number I picked was 24. And let's see. I see Cheryl at 21. Yeah, I think Cheryl's the winner. She's the closest at 21. Thanks, Cheryl. You get a $2 off of your purchase today. Oh, her phone died. Who, who's Jude? No, uh, oh. Judy. Oh, that's how she missed it. Okay. Yeah. I had a few things that didn't sell, but they were mainly just beads. So we do have Heather here. Let me join Heather into the stream. You ready, Heather? There we go. There's Heather. And then we're going to present Heather. Yeah. She's going to show you guys what she has for you today. I think it's like a, a dollar sale, right, Heather? Unmute yourself, Heather. Yep, you're still muted. There you go. I, I was trying, I knew I was muted. My laptop is way slow. You know that. It takes Everybody it. saying hi, Heather, and we're yeah. at. So let's see. Let me move back over to YouTube. And hello, everyone. Man, it's, to hear April talk, and you'd think it was something interesting. What I have. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, let's see. I can't do that. And watch myself delay. That'll annoy me. Okay. Woo. I take the lid off. Oh, um, I'll let you know if, if we can see it clearly. Okay. Wait, waiting for to air out here. I have this, uh, this container thing. It's not that, that it know, smells bad. Guys. Air freshener. It's just powerful. It's like, you know, the whole herd instead of just one cow. Okay. So I have two different smells. <laughs> um, I came upon these. You know how it goes. Not from a uh, storage unit. A friend came upon them. And then I ended up with them. So crystals. Air freshener. This is the Berry Blast. 16 ounces. They're these crunchy looking things, I'm guessing. Well, I know they sound crunchy. I haven't opened one of the bags. The uh, container strong enough. Anyway, you do something decorative, put them in a bowl. April and I were talking about that you could like put them in a gel candle if you know how to make those. We've never made one, but I think that'd be really cool. So there's the, the Berry Blast 10 Berry Blasts. That's why it's so uh, pungent. And then five fresh linen, so blue. And it's kind of hard to tell the fresh linen from the very last at the moment. Uh, I'd have to open them up and put the rest over in another room. So if anyone is interested in 16 ounces of Smelly Crystals for $1 plus shipping, they are yours, as many as you would like. And that's it. Okay. I, said, I, I wish I had something <laughs> exciting, you know, like some handmade soaps. You got a piece of, oh, you got a piece of paper? Um, okay, you got Patsy Crafty wants some fresh linen. Okay, I'm putting on the reading glasses here. Um, Patsy? 
Okay. Two linen. Mm -hmm. She wants two of the fresh linen. Yep. Then we got Kathleen Brandt. She wants two fresh linen. Okay. So then we are down to one fresh linen. And then you got. Okay. Then you got Mary Pelletier wants three of the berries. And since you only have one of the fresh linen, she wants the last one. Oh, fantastic. They're air freshener crystals that you can put in like little jars hours. and stuff and set in your bathroom or 45 days it says or set somewhere in your home or you can yeah, it says it lasts 45 days and you can use them however you want. Like you could put them in sachet bags and put them in your drawers or make maybe possibly like gel candles and use them. Yeah. So how many left of the berry do you have? So you said Mary wanted two berry. Mm -hmm. This, well, she oh, wants okay. three berry and three berry. And okay. I swear somebody, mm -hmm. there was a Mary Berry somewhere along the way through my life. I'm trying to remember who it was. <laughs> um, I can't remember. Just, you know, that's all right. So how many berries? Do you have left? Okay, so then um, I have 12 berries left. And I'm guessing Dwayne has all of the addresses. <laughs> 12 berries. If not, I'll give them to him or to uh -huh. you. Okay. So and, here, uh, Lena said she would like she would like she would like a berry, but there's no linen left. Right now all we have is 12 berry left, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Lena, Latina's shop, she wants one of the berry. Okay. Uh, I can't handle Cindy. And we are I, out of the yeah, linen. I hear you, Cindy. Actually, Dwayne freaks out if it's anything other than a an essential oil. Oh, no patchouli. He will throw a complete fit if yeah. I bring patchouli in the house. Um, Vita, I'm seeing. Vita wants two. Vita wants two berry. Okay, and then L Lena said, "Well, since you don't have any of the linen, she'll take four total of the berry." Oh, fantastic! Okay, so that puts me at four, five, six, <coughs> seven. So, um, eight. Yeah, eight of the berry left. I'm buying space so that that I do you, don't want. Do you hear Dwayne coughing? I don't know. He's he's standing in the doorway coughing and gagging. It smells like old ladies. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Cindy hates smells too. Come on in, Dwayne. Let's be offensive. <laughs> 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 is that is that everything does anybody else want the last how many that you had um eight of the berry and okay, okay patsy uh, um good to know Yeah. All right, that may be everything now. Fantastic. So I have Patsy, Kathleen, Mary, Mary, Lena, Vita. Is that all the names? Let me see. It was Patsy, okay. Kathleen, Mary. Lena, Vita. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So That's Lena says that, that um, I don't have her info, but you have it. Oh, I have everybody that's in there. Okay, so Lena, I'll get that um, I don't have Lena's. And I think you may have that one. Lena, have you ever sent your information into me? If you haven't, here I'll put mine down here.
And Your name, address, so and I paper. wish I did. And um, the soaps that did not sell at the auction, what, we did that back in November. I ended up giving those as neighbor gifts. Um, I guess everybody liked them. I have, I have quite a bit left, too, that I had bought because I'd bought a bunch of them. Kathleen, I'll send you one with your package. I'll send you a bar. <laughs> All right. I think everybody else has said that they what I wanted. Okay, so, great. Here, I'll pull my stuff back up. So now I've just got to talk. Oh, she's Lainey on a, got to go me. put the dinner. Yeah, I guess if Duena help me ship these, he's going to be complaining away. How much do they weigh? How much was the packages? 16 ounces. Okay. So you're at a pound. So at a pound, you're going to go ahead and put it in a bubble mailer. So at that point, it's going to be the same amount to ship it. So you might um, as well get as many as you as you think you'd really want. <laughs> <laughs> so the the one, I don't know, it's like that big. Are we talking the bubble envelope? Yeah, the, the flat rate one. Yeah, it's padded. Uh, mm hmm my knowledge and all of that is hit and miss, you know, just on account of Dwayne talking about stuff and you talking about stuff. Because yeah. whenever I sell, Dwayne ends up shipping it for I will me. Take more. Vita wants two more then, she said. Okay, so a total of four for Vita? Mm-hmm. Okay, four. Of the berry. So, uh, so yes, we're uh, going to do the padded flat rate. Oh, look, there's Dwayne's price. Dwayne put that big number in there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's his shipping fee. <laughs> But they are yeah. definitely powerful. They I asked earlier. Mag zip locks at the top, so you can just do a little bit at a time. Right. No food smells, she said. But um, I did ask earlier, guys, if y'all want to see something in particular that you're needing for your crafts, go ahead and list that out in the chat so we can try to bring that to you next month for our next craft sale. You eating yogurt? <laughs> And there's Dwayne. Uh, it's ice cream from Chick Fil A. There's tastes like homemade ice cream, and I love it. Oh, I have to try it out. We've got Chick Fil A way down State Street. Do you drink their um, sweet? Yeah. Tea? If you ever had the homemade ice cream, it tastes just like that. Yeah. I have had homemade ice cream. Yeah, my there's friend. Cindy. Who lived in the south she's completely addicted to chick-fil-a sweet tea she buys it a gallon at a time mm. Mm -hmm. i like their lemonade because it's like a fresh you know squeezed tasting lemonade like real lemons that sounds good i'd probably do a, oh um, you miss so much a, what do you call it what is that the lemonade and the sweet tea together oh and arnold palmer i like those yeah, except for I do. do like, uh, Heather had um, some air freshener. Yeah, Heather had some air freshener crystals uh, that she was offering for a dollar a package, but I think that's about what you missed. How many of those did you have left? Eight. Would you like some some berry scented eight crystals? And there. Oh, you did, Kathleen? You'll have to show me. And you'll have to see April's sunglasses. All right, Cindy, do you have any? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cindy, did you have any last words before do we? Do I have anything to say? Yeah. Cindy's looking any a little sudden and confused no. at the moment. Um, all those that are waiting on me to ship. 
uh, I was I went and put my supper on. I put my um, barbecue and some chicken, and I went and put it in the oven. So anyway, I was just like looking to see see. Uh, yeah, we can. Jude says she can't do those because of pet issues. So anyway, I can't handle them because of the <laughs> scent. I, anything that scented, I can't even go in Kirkland's without just like almost having an asthma attack and I don't have I asthma you. so anyway. that's the way bath so. and body work a headache. oh um, yeah we yeah. I don't do bath yeah, and body I work stay out all, there. oh so. and, but then if you do go in and then there's all the individual smells that you're supposed to be picking out one it's like I can't differentiate with um, what I'm holding from everything else in the room <laughs> <laughs> um, all right uh, if everybody's still here, I do want to remind you that after you get your invoice, you have 48 hours to pay. Um, and um, I don't think that there's anybody here that we have trouble with. But uh, if you have an issue, you need to communicate with us because if you don't communicate, we don't know. And then we just think you're a slacker. And there right. you go. <laughs> yeah, we really okay, do so. need you to let us know something and, and pay it up. No. You don't get possible because it's not really fun to go hunting people down. <laughs> right. Especially <laughs> bill collecting. So, but I don't have, I always have trouble with you, Dwayne. You are, <laughs> you are the pain in my backside. Um, no, you don't have a problem with payment. It's um, us right. saying that we're going to send you something and six months later we actually send it to you. So, anyway. April, I'm, I, I'm just used to Dwayne harassing me. So, anyway. right. well, anyhow, thanks. I'm glad that uh, uh, you guys bought up all that fabric. I only have three pieces left. I thought I had a bunch of, no, I only have two pieces left. I thought I had a bunch of those other pieces, and it turns out I didn't, I wasn't putting them all in. So, anyway, but I only have two pieces of fabric left. And so, all is cool. All is cool. So, if you have a, it's going to be yeah, strong. We'll Dirt bag on your package. Dirt bag on your package. <laughs> <laughs> I would never stamp dirt bag on your package. So, but uh, if you're going to be throwing a baby shower, I didn't get the baby shower on uh, invitations. Invitations sold, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> we're having chicken legs too, Lena. Barbecue chicken legs and I have couscous. No idea yet what we're having. And my, my people looked at me funny when I said we were having couscous. So. It will be a new adventure for them. So. <laughs> yeah, we've I've never cooked couscous before. That I've never cooked couscous. Yeah, we have couscous. It's I a pasta, to. isn't it? It's a pasta yeah. that's a small. little teeny tiny pasta. Yeah, that's what I thought. So anyway, yeah. no. So couscous is good. You're making chicken breast. I normally cook chicken breasts. In fact, I have a freezer full of chicken breasts, but I was in the mood for chicken legs. Mm -hmm. so. Wayne says toasted pasta. I grilled some chicken I have I have actually a package of Tyson grilled chicken breasts, pre-cooked grilled chicken breasts in my freezer that I just grab them out and, and heat them up and uh, use them all kinds of ways. We put them on in wraps. We put them on sandwiches we put them in uh chicken parm i mean they're yeah they're just really so you're having quinoa i've never i don't know if quinoa quinoa, quinoa. quinoa. Yeah, quinoa. quinoa. i've never had quinoa neither. if you like the taste of dirt and the texture yeah, of sand it. quinoa is for you <laughs> 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 yeah, like they're gravel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not real fond of the texture of dirt or sand. So, anyway, but thanks. <laughs> I love rice, though. So. Have you ever done? I, I do, Jenny. I've got the. I've got these two left. I've got some. Um, Carnelian and some hematite. If you want these two, I can do both of them for eight dollars. If you'd want those, Cindy, have you ever had cauliflower that's been riced? Oh yeah, we eat it a lot when we were on when we did a 
Oh, keto. I love it. Yeah, yeah, we eat that too. What is it? Um, the Green Giant, whatever brand that is. Is that well, brand? You know, that all these. So that they, they have Green it, Giant. Yeah, yeah. that they have it frozen and. Yeah, it's frozen and it's plain. I've seen some some companies offer it with pre seasonings in it, but we just do it plain and and I make like chicken and rice with it or. Or I just put butter on it and eat it with butter on it. I like it with butter and cheese and bacon on it. So. <laughs> What's that with butter and cheese and bacon? So much for keeping it <laughs> calorie conscious. <laughs> no, I can't pay. With butter, with butter, cheese, and rice on it, it's keto conscious. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not carbs. It's just keto. So yeah, anyway, it's doing the protein yeah. thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't eat I enough love, meat to do that. I love Brussels sprouts with butter, cheese, and bacon on them, too. <laughs> I can eat Brussels sprouts once in a while. Dwayne won't eat I those. I do my Brussels sprouts. And um, what? With, with some the bacon. salt, pepper, and some garlic and olive oil. Our daughter did that and baked them. I, I thought it was pretty good. but Dwayne says even roofing tiles are better with butter, bacon, and cheese. <laughs> yeah, you broil them, you'll get that good little char on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cook my I cook my Brussels sprouts in the microwave until they start getting soft and then I put them in the oven and toast them up. So. Mm. Anyhow. Oh, nice. Right, so we made everybody <laughs> better. If I was calorie conscious, I would not be eating peanut butter M&M's. <laughs> I also wouldn't look like this neither. So. Expect there. there you go. Like, anyway. All right. So we're going to let everybody go. We had a good time. We appreciate y'all showing up and hanging out with us for so long. And we will see you next month on my channel for a craft sale. Y'all have Bye. a great afternoon and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.